We are live now. Hey, welcome to the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Canlip and Bowling Network. Paul Graham, Bob Lee, live from Academy Lanes. Club 125, Haven S. Defending Champions, Academy 2. On the right, Jim O'Reilly, the fourth seed. Take on number five seed, Academy 3. 14 and 2 the last two weeks. Jimbo starts the first of three strings, 6 9. Jason Gothia Jr., great week last week. Leaves up the head pin. Two points for a win per string, one for a tie, four for total. Jimbo Spare to start the match. Canopin Bowling Network in high definition, always free, never a charge. Please subscribe on YouTube to Canopin Bowling Network, closing in on 1,000 videos within the next few days. Executive producer is Bob Lee. JB missed that chance. Wasn't there for nine. Academy two up by one plus a ball to start this early match. Jimbo Ayat with the bonus ball. On, On the crossover, the seven. And every false start, it's J, uh, JB's pins fell down to the back. So Jimbo frightened his pins. It'll be a reset. 17 through one, up eight is Academy two. JB. Off to the left, 1-3 as the 10 falls down. Good chance here. Just missed that single pin for a spare. Jimbo for another one, missed left. Three in the six. JB for a spare, missed again. Would have got those last week. Jimbo, a nine, 26 through two. Jimbo coming in with an overall average of 112. Just check that out. Check my numbers here again. 119.58 overall average. Seventh overall in the Friday Night Pro League. 121.80 on the road. Jason Gothia Jr. 117.80 overall. Close. 117.67 on the road. Here's the youngster, Austin Barnes. Red hot this season. Having his best year. 5-2 split. Here's Mike Nardone, who had a sluggish start last week. Two strong strings after that in the sweep over Academy 1. Barnes in lane 4. Same spot. Nardone in lane 3 on the crossover. Can't get to the 4-7. Austin big out. A 6. Start his match. Nardone gains with a 10. Thirty-two twenty-nine, three pin lead for Academy Two on the right. No marks on the board as of right now. Barnes heaves it on the crossover. Five nine ten. Now Don on the nose with a setback shot. Five six ten. Early in the first of three strings on Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube. Bobby, trying to get the score cam up to date for you in just a moment. Yep. Try to, we we try to go. We try to go try live. To get live. Couldn't get it going live, so recording tonight. Barnes can't yeah. get to the five. Great bid. There's a firewall in there. Sorry, guys. Good. And now Don gets a spare. Coming. Twenty to ball through two. Bob Lee, welcome. Oh well. We'll catch up on that. <laughs> that. And Austin. With a Thanks. nine, 15 through two. Yep. Austin, Austin. 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 Captain Dave Goblin, Captain Dave Hodge Malahan. Dave Goblin trying to come back from a lot of injuries this year. 
They'll need him for the playoffs. Head pin hit, he gets eight, make it nine. Seven pin for a spare. Nice ball. Mr. 235, I call him his high single, 235. Dave Hodge Mallihan, one, three, six, the nine, hiding behind the three. God went for a spare. He got it. got it. Ten of the ball. Haji for a spare. Missed left. Academy 2 has the early lead. 112 and 80. Academy 3, 10 points behind. 102 and 90. Malhan, the Paul Grant special. Missed the second. Make the third for a 10. Academy 2 started 4 and 24. Or something like that the first few weeks. Goodbye. There's a strike for Godwin on spare. What a start. Davis back, 20 through 1, 20, uh, 30. 30 and ball through 2. 2-1 two, split, 2-4-6 two, for Malahan. Dave, 105.80 overall average, 109.08 on the road. Hodge Malahan, 111.95 overall. 114.70 on the road. This is a road game in the home house. Oh, what a try. Just behind the six. One mark for each side. Hodge gets a nine. 19 through two. Fourth bowl is Joe Smith for Academy 2 on the right. On the left, the Rock. Ed Woodside. Bowled excellent last week against Academy 1 in their 8-0 sweep. Four versus five on Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Smith. Check mark plus the seven. Ed Woodside, veteran bowler. Nice pocket shot. Takes down eight. Seven in the eight. See if he can use that wood to bounce over. Smith. Bounced it right. Right to left. Three, five, seven. The Rock for a spare. Doinked it. Joe, nice pick up there for a 10. Just out his match. Woodside sliced and diced it. Got the 8, but did not fall down. Heck of a try for a 9. Anchor Bowl is next. Peter Crawford Jr., Tim, Jam, and Jalbert. Smith on the head pin. Dominoes the 6 and 10, has the 2 4 spare opportunity. Woodside goes left, gets 4. Just one mark so far for Academy 3. Two marks so far for Academy 2. Smith spare. They have a strike and a spare on the board, 20 through the ball through 2. Woodside can't get to the 3. Academy 2 has the early lead. Woodside gets the 10, 19 through 2. Anchor time. We'll get talk to Bob Leo after this next two bowlers come up. We'll go back to the top of the order. We'll get an update every five boxes. We're all completed through Bob Lee. Tim Jalbert, 116.4 overall average Friday night this season, 118.48 on the road, the home team tonight. Peter Crawford Jr., 124.61 overall, third in the Friday Night Pro. He has a banana split, 121.86 on the road. Jalbert, same spot. Crawford Jr. trying to kick it over. Almost got oh. the, everything but the six. And nice out. That's a tough one. Missed the second, make the third. Good 10, though. And Crawford matches. 101, 87, 14 pin lead for the defending champs on the right. Peter Crawford, part of a Lafayette Lanes, a hybrid of team now, as Academy 3. They won it two seasons ago as a seventh seed. Now, a Lafayette, different team altogether now, pretty much. Java comes back, has the 2 5 10. Crawford with goal post.
Ed Woodside's going to take a look at that one. I think it's good from back here, but it's hard to tell. This front way back here. Take a second look at it. A mound visit. It's good. Interesting piece of wood. Let's see how, how would Bob Lee play this shot. Would you barrel the wood straight on, cap it? Would you go left of the wood? I think the space right. is a little too big to guarantee it, but um, if you hit one of those caps, it, you also have the, you have the possibility of that, of that front piece deflecting back into it. So let's, see, the left side let's see what he does. He went left. He got wow. it. Nice shot for a spare. How about that one? Beautiful shot. 20 to ball. The third, fourth, and fifth ball is all marks on matching spare for Crawford Jr. Petey Pete. They got two spares on the board. Let's get an update from Bob Lee, executive producer of Candle from Bowling Network. Bob. All right. Well, we got uh, Dave Godwin on a strike. Joe Smith and Tim Jalbert for, for uh, Academy 2. And they have a 14-pin lead and a 3-2 to two lead in marks. JB now stepping up. Both of these bowlers were open in the second. JB, Jason Gauthier Jr. 3-6-10, spare opportunity. Here's Jimbo Ayotte, spare 7-9 start. He has the wiggling six to the right, three to the left, seven left corner, 3-6-7. JB for a spare. He's missed three chances. A single pin, a two pinner, and now a three pinner. Jimbo just missed by a smidge. Four versus five, a good matchup. And JB with the 10, 29 through three. Jimbo nine, 35 through three on Candlepin Bowling Network. Bob, exciting, a thousand videos coming up within the next week or so, and amazing. Our, and we'll probably have our millionth viewer in about a month as well. They get a prize for that? Yeah. <laughs> Um, we might get a plaque or, or a, a certificate or something. JB, one and the 10. Jimbo, four horsemen plus the nine behind the three. Fourth box, first string from beautiful Academy Lanes. The brand new Pub 125 in its second full year. JB, missed left. Not an easy shot, but any lucky to have four in a row. Jimbo, two full, three, six, ten. Great pizza, chicken tenders, burgers are amazing. Full bar, gorgeous looking. Pub 125, 725 South Main Street in the Bradford section of Haverhill, Mass. JB again missed the second, made the third, ten. Good pinning, a nine and three tens, 39 through four. Jimbo gets a nine, a pair of nines, three in a row actually after a spare seven, 44 through four. Mike Nardo now in lane four. Austin Barnes reverses to lane three. Austin 15. Mike 20 in a ball. Excellent bowler. Only four that time. You see a lot of that when you go left. A lot of four pinners like that formation. 24 through two. Austin Barnes. Beautiful ball. Another goal pulse. That's about the third one we've seen already. Nardo trying to work out of this. Gets the eight. Leads up five. Early in the first of three strings. Week 25 of 35. Barnes. Got it. How about that one? Wood helped. 25 of the ball through three. Nardone. All but the head pin for a nine. 33 through three in the first of three. Playoffs May 21st, a Sunday, starting at 10 o'clock live. Central Park Lanes, East Boston Mass, live coverage on Canelton Bowling Network on YouTube all the way through the finals. 3-2 split for Nardone. Barnes on the bonus. On the crossover, 7. 3-5-10. Nice recovery, 32 through 3. Nardone, good bid. Not much to show, 4-7-10. Barnes, got another one, back to back. Six, nine, spare, seven, spare. 42 in a ball through four. That's how you do it, folks. And Mike gets a nine. Nardone, 42 through four. Dave Godwin, red hot start. 
A spare now a strike on lane three, 30 plus two. Dave Hodge Valley had 10 of the nine on lane four. Captain and captain, side by side. Hodge, pocket shot, pushes down the two, leads up the 10. Three pieces charging to the right, maybe four. Godwin on a strike, crossing over, double, wow! Haji, who needs the wood, spare. 29 in the ball through three. Dave Godwin on fire, 50 plus bonus balls. Through three boxes, Mr. 235. Back to the future. Dave bears down. Hooks right, gets a break with seven. One, two, eight on the spare. 36 through three. First string of three. Goblin going for the turkey, a triple strike. Too accurate. Clipped wing eagle, 25 in the first double strike box. 45 through two, 55 in a ball through three. Haji, got it to go. Eight falls down. He goes back to back on spares. 46 in the ball through four. Goblin, what a try. 18 in the second double strike box, 63 through three. The power of the double strike. And Dave gets a 10. Perfect so far, 73 through four. What a start. Good for him. It's been a grind all year. And watch out, they need him. <laughs> they could defend their title if he keeps this going. The fourth seed leads the fifth seed. Hey, Woodside for a strike on the crossover. Leads up the kingpin, the five. 19 is first two. Joe Smith on a spare. 20 to ball. He gets the head pin. He gets six. Three, seven, nine, ten. Wood in front. One to the right of the ten. 26 to two. Woodside got it to go. Spare. Barely. 29 in the ball through three. Smith. Give it a crack. Seven to nine. Smith in the channel for an eight, 34 through three on Canopin Bowling Network. So next week, Paul. Uh, I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be in Newport, Maine. I'll be away next Friday night, staying overnight in Palmyra, Palmyra Maine, next to Newport, Maine for the state, Pier the very popular Pearson Classic. In Newport Entertainment Center, Newport May, 9 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Two 10 string matches that day, live on Canop and Bowling Network on YouTube. So, Bob, it's up to you and Greg next week. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, Ed Woodside picked up three on his spare fill. He still has four standing with his third ball coming up. 32 through three. Ed Woodside leads up number one. Smith gets Nate Woodside a nine. Smith, 42. Ed is at 40. Despite the mark, and March 15th, a good one I would think we would do is Central 3 hosting Academy at Academy 2. That'd be a good match. One versus four, the 15th of March, two weeks from tonight. That'd be an ideal match that week. And next week, it may be Central 2 at Millis. Or Central 1 at Central 3. Nine drop to five for PP. That's on a spare, 29 through two. Strike bid, he's got it. Jalbert strike on spare. 30 through two, 40 plus two through three. Academy two on a fire. Crawford back to back, 39 of the ball through three. Peter Crawford using a whole approach plus. Both on marks on the spare. Just missed right, one, two, six, ten, 45 through three. Jalbert for a strike, look good. Six right, nine left. First ball on the strike. Looking at three marks in a row. Crawford for a spare, two full. 
two six ten. Jalbert, it's fair. Perfect so far, like Dave Godwin, 10, spare strike, spare. 50 through three, 60 to ball through four. Crawford gets an eight. 53 through four, update again from Bob Lee. Here's a home all down. Lead is now up to 40 pins through four completed boxes. Academy two are defending champs. Two marks to one also in their favor. Top the order, spread eagle for Jimbo Ayotte. Last year's Pro Series Bowl of the Year. A lot of missed opportunities for Jason Gothia Jr., JB, 189. Ayotte, 2, 3, 6, 10. JB for a spare. He got it. Couldn't get the easy ones. Piece of cake. Ayotte 9, 53 half, 49 in the ball for JB. Gets a laugh out of that one. Missed a couple of easy ones earlier. You make a shot like that. Welcome to Canada from Bowling. There you go. Ayotte 2 2 split. JB 1. 210. That's on a spare. 56 half. Jimbo. Good try. Almost. JB just missed the head pin. Hey, and you're lucky to have five marks, Bob. A little bit off the mark on the second ball. The 142 last week in the first string. 10 for Jimbo Ayotte, 63 through 6. JB sails right for a 9. 65 through 6. Austin Barnes on a spare, 42 in a ball. 6 9 spare, 7 spare. Mike Nardone, 42 through 4, had a spare 4 back in the second. The rise of Austin Barnes continues. Hooked left. Ends up with a six fill, one three six nine. Nardone with the five seven ten. Ouch. Forty eight through four for Austin on the spare. I think I've been to about four of Austin's birthdays in the last year, so I think he's getting older quickly. They, they like, they U.S. Like Invitational. Take advantage of that at the steakhouses. <laughs> how about teammates. the U How about the U.S. Invitational? They, they give him his birthday party as a welcome to the uh, out of the world's U.S. Invitational minus Canada, twenty twenty one. That's of course a joke. Yeah, of course it is. He gets nine. 57 half. Nardone, 8. 50 half. It's all Academy 2 so far. They're sitting on two spares to one. They make that one and one now each. One and one. Spare for Dave Hodge Malahan. Up next for Academy 3. Five versus four. Barnes back in the head pin. The setback, 5-6-10. Now Dolan crossing over, nine drop, six pin for a spare. Hingham tr uh, uh, right ahead of Academy two by 12 points. Exeter 14 of a Hingham, Central three, 17 ahead of number two. Now Dolan got it, spare. Second spare of the first, 16 of all through six. Barnes trying at least one, and does for a nine, 66 through six on Candlepin Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button, that bell to remind you we go live as well. Never a charge. Like those Disney Plus and ESPN Plus channels, we don't charge you a nickel or a dime or anything, a penny, always free. Thanks to Bob Lee setting the whole thing up, originally called Spread Eagle Productions. Dave Godwin, what a start he's having. 73 through 4. Bounces right. 1, 2, the 4 falls down. 1, 2, 8, 10. Three pieces behind. Haji on the bonus drills 8. 5 and the 7. Wood turns the wrong way. 54 through 4. Could Godwin get this one too? Off the wall. Just missed the 10. A little more inside. It may have gone. 
Haji try to kick it over. Good effort, just missed right. Denied three in a row. Dave trying to stay perfect in this first half of the first string. And nope. not that time, nine, 82 half. Haji nine, 50, like that's 63, 63 through five. Eight triple strikes this season, one for twice for Peter Crawford and Millis, 227s, house record, 453, leads Friday Night Pro League in high single and the high three. And he gets paid twice in that triple strike pool. Godwin spread eagle, back to earth. Haji, four horsemen plus a post. Now not anymore as the three falls down, 1-7, 6-10 right. Godwin, 2-10. Three, six, ten. Giving Academy three a chance to breathe here. The lead is not out of control right now. That one hooked left. Plenty of talent. What a stunner last week was, Bob. Academy three is down to like 29 pins going to the final two boxes. 42. Like last, and they, they came back and won it in stunning fashion. Peter Crawford, the double strike to win it. There's a 163 he got in that string. Dave Gauman, 6, 88 through 6, 10 for Haji, uh, 73 through 6, and that trims lead even closer. That's right. One spit of none, though, favors Academy 2. Actually, it's one apiece now, right? Uh, yeah, Mike and I don't know. Yeah, Mike and I don't know. Jalbert's on a mark, and uh, Mike's got one hanging, but, it, you know, we've, we've got we've got six, six boxes in a row for the first time with Academy 2 without a mark. Leads down to 27 for Academy 2. Can they hang on for the first two? Joe Smith has a chance for a spare with the four pin. And he got There's it. There's one. That was a big breaker. Second spare of the string, 52 and a ball through five. Drought Woodside. Six in a row there. Sorry, Bob. No, it was a drought of six in a row for Academy 2 that he ended. Now they can reverse their fortunes. Woodside looking for a bunch. Does for a nine. 50 half. Smith on the cross. Look at this leave. Oh wow. My. Wow. Oh, it's Take it's a eight. video of that one, folks. Yikes. That's the one, two, and six pin that fell. Off you it. see this, folks. Take a video of this one. The three fill. Three fill, 55 half. Brutal. Greg Guillard always says crossovers leave, leave Kings. Good second ball. Oh, broke up the triangle nicely. Yeah. Couldn't quite reach the 10. Heck of a try. Takes the disaster out of play. That was big. Woodside tried to clean it up. One, three, six, ten. Smith in the channel. That's a nine. 64 through six. Woodside, a six. 56 through six. Including a spare three in the fourth. And now it's going back the other way. It's up to 34. It puts seven back in the lead. 34 pin lead for Academy 2. One ball each. And that ball for Academy 2 is in the hands of Tim Jalbert right now. That's why Sarah here, daughter, daughter Tatum here as well. Bowls in the kids' league here on Saturdays. Nine drop, That's ten it. drop, strike on spare. Second time he's done that, the string. Crawford Jr. with a tri triangle, three, five, six. He's at 53 through four coming in. The combination of spare strikes have helped Academy too immensely here. Immensely here in the first. For a spare, no. Came back, just stopped short of the six. Interesting to see uh, the curl that PDP puts on that ball. Nine, 62 through five. Academy two has four strikes in the string. Two, a double by Dave Godwin and a strike, spare strike for Tim Jalbert. 70 through four, 80 half plus two. He's gonna surpass Dave Godwin's 82 half. He goes Ooh. for a double. That looked good, didn't it? Five and the 10. Yeah, that was a good ball. PDP, 3-2 split. For a spare. Yes, spare and strike. Look at him go. Strike, spare, strike, spare. Jim and Jalbert here in Haverhill. 
90 half, 100, and a ball through six, sizzling. What do we got that nickname from, Bob? Come from the 2 2 split. Great effort. It's three for nine, 71 through six. Update as we go back to the top of the order from Bob Lee, executive right, producer at Camelton well, Bowling Network. The lead, which had been down to about to 27. Seven is now back up to 56. We'll drag the whole scoreboard up there for a second. And you can see there's just uh, one mark on the board for each squad. Jason Gothia Jr. Head pin hit, tough leave. Left to right, seven, five, six, ten. Jimbo Ayot off to the left, one, three, nine. Not bad considering. JB at 65 coming in, Jimbo 63 through six. Not on marks. Trying to sweep it over, nothing to show for it. Jimbo just missed, not by much. JB just told me the news today that he's gonna be moving up to Maine. Awesome. West, oh, nice oh. sweeping 10. How you off, off you see that one? Yeah, that was like a... 75 through seven on the 10 box. Jimbo matches 73 through seven with that 10. Where about Samane? I did not dwell on, we'll I don't know. We'll try to talk to him later asking, on. Yeah. Some Western Mass. Yeah. Nice ball again. 7-10 goal post. Wood rolling around. Jimbo, smooth ball. Six right, seven left. No wood, no luck. Week 25 of 35, the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. JB, spare. Sweet. Needed that one, 85 and a ball through eight. Jimbo time. Oh, so close to the seven. How, bi how big was the deficit last week when uh, Academy 3 It was like back? 29 going the final two there on mark, and they got a double strike. It was in the 40s, I think, in the final five boxes. Yeah, we're in that, in that territory here. But yep. Anybody yeah. can win this game. Everybody can come back. Ten box for Jimbo, 83 through eight. Austin Barnes, 66 through six. 16 of all for Mike Nardone for Academy 3 on the right. Number five seed, Academy 3. Number four seed, defending champs, Academy 2. Beautiful Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Now Dolan crossing over, has a triangle, 3-5-6, six, 67 through 6. Barnes spins left, 7 rock and rolls, won't go, 1-3-6 in front. Now Dolan for another mark, missed right, 3 in the 5. Barnes nudged the head pin, 3-6-7. Now Doan hits a nine, 76 through seven in the first of three. Austin trying to clean it up, gets one for an eight, 74 through seven. Mike Nardone, 114.17 overall average, 115.10 on the road. Austin Barnes, 116.14. 117.4 on the road, having his best year in the Friday Night Pro League. Now Don't crossing over with the hay bale, the bundle of five. 115 is the median average for pros in the Friday Night Pro League. And he crosses over, three, five, ten. Wood in between, two pieces. Spare bid here. Now Don't chops out the six, leaving up the three, five, nine, ten. Back to lane three, Austin Barnes. Takes his time. Nice shot. He got it. Spare. Wow. That was beautiful. 84 and a ball through eight. Third spare of the string. Fills with seven and six in the third and fourth. Mike Nardone takes an eight. 84 through eight. Two marks to none. Both spares for the defending champs. Academy two on the left. And one of the reasons why, a couple reasons why, Dave Godwin, 88 through six. Tim Jam and Jalbert on a spare. The anchor bowler, 100 in the ball through six. Hey, Paul, who's wh what president is on the $50 bill? <laughs> uh, um, I'll grant you a wish. Uh, well, that's the difference right now. Five How about Hawaii 50. five -0. 50. 
Hawaii, 5-0. Yep. Yeah, book him, Dano. I'll tell you a funny story about that. When I used to DJ in the 80s, 90s. one seven ten. Ball rolling back. Oh, wow. the world, as the world turns, it goes into the pit. Goblin, 5-1 split. Great offer, 5-7. and the seven. Haji, 9, 82 through 7. His team's in the hole now. Goblin gets a 9, 97 through 7. Had a spare strike, strike. 63 through three open since then. No marks the last four. And the Solid pinning. Difference is 50. Did have that one six box, uh, that six box on a split. Aji on the head pin, strike. 92 plus two through eight. And that's their first strike, Bob, I believe, right? Yes. Four strikes to one overall on the string. Done by two bowlers each for Academy 2. Yeah, and the way that uh, you know, Jalbert and Godwin have been linking them together, too. And that's how you do it. 20 boxes and the 26, 26 boxes, was that one that, that Godwin had? He's got the 6, 10, 7 left. Would help. Can he get it? Sent the messenger over. Thought he had it. Still in a great string. Just missed by a smidge for a nine, 106 to eight. And it, despite its low average this year, obviously it's very deceptive with the injuries and trying to get back. Two different injuries, two different times this year. Missed a lot of time and just trying to get back into it. But it's been terrific today so far. Ed Woodside, 56 through six. Joe Smith on the left, 64 through six. Woodside with three. Josh Daly leads the overall average in the league, 127.33. Waters World, Justin Waters, same teammate, Central 3, number one seed, 125. Woodside just missed the five for a spare. Four left, three, six, ten right. Those are the official away averages, Paul? Yep. Yep. Nice effort. Just read fourth, 123, 28.28, a good year as Woodside gets a 10, 90, make that 106. I'm sorry. Uh, get let's that go right. 66. How yep, I read the right wrong scoreboard. 66 through seven, make it. Smith gets an eight. He's at 72 through seven. John Winchell fifth, 122.33. Had a good match, good week last week. John Winchell fourth, 32 and a 174. The second best in the league. Check mark Woodside. Smith, beautiful ball. Takes down nine, ten oh, strike. Broke nice. of the diamond. He'll take it. It was off the head pin, not a backdoor strike, but it well, was. Well, uh, it came back yeah, a little bit. The, the diamond crumbled. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's what happens when jewelers work on those diamonds sometimes. <laughs> they, they shatter like that. 82 plus two through eight. They get five strikes to one in this string. Woodside grabs three of the four for a nine, 75 through eight. Tim Jalbert. 100 in the ball on the left. Pete Crawford, 71 through six. Petey Pete, the DJ. Nice ball for a strike, nine. Just bounced behind the nine. Jim and Jalbert, 4-2 split. 104 through six in the first of three strings on Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Crawford, spare, 81 on the ball. Nice effort, will it go? Right turn, Clyde, it goes left instead. Reference that, reference that Clint Eastwood will be everywhere trade, but loose the orangutan Clyde, the star of the show. And Ruth Gordon, the mother. Hilarious movie. One of the things I can see uh, by watching Tim in, in person, I didn't realize that he has a he has a right to left throw with a left to right spin. He's, he's throwing a, a reverse spin on that ball with his arm coming down right to left. It doesn't look like it 
to be good for the arm. But it, it's actually, it's really effective. He's up to 113, the ball through seven after that nine box. Crawford, six, a triangle plus the seven. That's on a spare. 87 through seven. Chance here for Jim, for the Jim, uh, Jim and Jalbert, Tim Jalbert. Five and the eight. Crawford got it. Pretty sharp for a spare. Back to back. 97 the ball through eight. Jalbert missed that chance. That would have gone earlier. Yeah, 90. Half. He gets the 10 after missing the second shot completely. One, two, three through eight. Final two boxes, the first of three strings from Haverhill, Massachusetts at Academy Lanes Pub 125. Friday Night Pro League game of the week, week 25 or 35. Update from Bob Lee. All right, well, the lead is under 50 for the moment. Um, a spare and two strikes for Academy 3 as they plan their comeback. They, they did it last week. You could do it again. It's, it, it, uh, I, I would uh, watch for that Dave Hodge strike in the third as the key. JB gets seven in the spare, one, two, nine, 92 through eight. AR time, new right away, but almost got it. Another one, bounces back. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Every which way but loose. A ski ball shot going for the 50. Jimbo gets a nine, 92 through nine. JB Gaines with a 10, 102 through nine. Lead right now is 37. Still have a chance. Are even now. One strike and one spare for each squad. And nine boxes to play. Final box, these two balls in the first. Ayotte, one, two, ten. Got the kick off the wall. Still going. One, three, five, eight. Wood behind the one and the three on lane three. Lane four, Jimbo Ayotte for a spare. Got it. Wow. Nice shot. 102 and a ball in the 10th. Had a spare seven to start. Bookend marks. Got the air. It goes. Shakes his head. The eight falls last. 112 and a ball in the 10th. 56 half to start. 56 second half plus a ball. Ayotte, head pin hit, takes down nine. Nice finish, 111. Oh, JV no. head pin hit, just four. Oh, 116, no. opening string. The pocket four, we hate, that, that, I hate that more than this Fred Eagle, when you, get a, you hit the pocket and get, a, and get a split four. Eight boxes to go on the first of three strings. Academy two has the upper hand. They've led most of the way. Lead is 33, Bob? Let's see, that, that 42. Is, yep, 42. Parallel time for Austin Barnes. That's on a spare. Six, 90 through eight. Mike Nardone, three, nine, ten. A little nudge, that three. A little more right now. It's gone. He's at the 48 for Academy Two. Yeah, four, basically 48 minus a ball, but eight boxes to play. Barnes for a spare, wraps around, nudge the four. 25 years young. Now don't, can't get the nine to go, tough break. Yep. Nothing touched it. They could have used that. Pin, just needed a tap. Austin, 10 box, 94 through nine. Now don't, gets a 10 also, 94 through nine. Austin actually 100 through nine, make it. 100 for Austin. Mike Dundon, 94 through nine. So Austin in triple digits. A mark for his average. On the crossover, blisters eight, nine. Seven pin for a spare, Wood must stop before you throw the ball by International Kennel Pin Bowling Association or ICBA rules. Right at that pin. For a spare, got it, Wood helped. 110 in the ball in the 10th. Now don't for a spare. He got it. 
for Osborne plus the nine, goes down. 104 on the ball in the 10th. Nice finish for Mr. Mike. Third spare of the string. Fills a four and seven earlier. Trying to put a, fr uh, a frenzy rally here at the end, like last week. Barnes, seven to fill, 117. That's been his average pretty much now. Now, don't get seven on his fill, 111, opening string. Austin Barnes, 10 of his last 12 matches, Bob. He's been over his average. Eight, eight of his last, last nine. Yep, eight of his last nine. Pretty good. What's his, what's his current average? He's averaging 117 and change away. Yeah, I. I 116 home. I I'm sorry, 116 overall. His, he was having some struggles. Yeah. Um, Early in the year, he was. Yeah, 116.14 overall, 117.41 away. Dave Go, another strike, his third of the string. Golly. 116 plus two in the ninth. Double strike earlier. Haji, half Worcester, first ball on the strike. He has half the strikes in the string himself. Haji, second ball on the strike, goes right. 1 6, a correction, 1 4, right side, 6 10. 6 is the fill, 98. 98 through 8 here in the first. Might get a couple here at least, and nothing. Six, 104 through nine. Mr. 235 on a roll here at Academy Lanes, Pub 125. So six pins in the deck, and one of them was a six blocks, a pair of nines also. Anything else? Spares, strikes, or double strikes. For a second double of the string. 5-1 split. Haji, four horsemen plus a post. Godwin, skip lobs it. Got it! Oh. Wow, what a shot for a spare! Another big 20. 126 to 9, 136, and the ball in the 10th. Haji just missed the 7. The return of Dave Godwin. Haji 10, 114, first string. No last week magic here in the first for them. Dave Godwin a strike to get to 146 in his fourth strike, if he could do that in the first. Very impressive. Very confident. Crossing over. Get seven. How about a 143? First strength for Dave. Mr. 235 Godwin. Wow. And if he bowls like that, Bob, in the playoffs, watch out. Leads up to 63. The biggest lead, I believe. It is. Joe Smith on a strike. Two, four, seven. Right side, six and ten. Ed. Punches up the six pin. You know what that means. Smith. Uh, had to pay $10 into that pool myself today. Seven of the strike, 89 through eight. Woodside, good second ball. Wobbling check mark. I'm in six leagues though, Paul. <laughs> Joe, only an eight somehow. 97 through nine. Woodside gets a nine, 84 through nine. Correction, it's an eight for Smith. Yep, so 97 is, 97 through 9 is correct. Three bucks to go, two strings after this. Smith, beautiful ball, but look at this leave. Oh, got a break in a sense, but a 5-7 split. So we can use that wood somehow. Woodside on the crossover. Eight left and back, three, six, ten right. Wood in front, one behind. Smith for a spare. No. Woodside. Eight in the ten. Best he can do is 94. Jimbo trying to get, uh, Joe Smith trying to get at least one for 90. Uh, 106 string gets an eight. 105 opening string. 
Woodside gets nine, disappointing, 93 start. Final two boxes, Peter Crawford Jr. on the left, 97 the ball. Tim, Jim, and Jalbert, 123 without a mark here and through eight. Dave Godwin set the tone earlier, the double strike in the second and third box after a spare to start. And 82 half, Jimbo, Jim, uh, Tim Jalbert had a 90 half. And delivers six. Crawford, only four in the fill, 101 through eight. Academy two is the first two points of the match. Jalbert missed left. Crawford off the wall, won't carry. Bounced right, six, uh, four in the seven left up. And nine box for Jalbert, 132 through nine. He's a mark to beat his teammate, Dave Godwin, who had a 143. Crawford, eight. So 102 through eight, now eight, 110 through nine. Final box of the first, two strings left on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube. Four versus five, number four, defending champs had the first two points. Jalbert, five. Crawford with three, the four, seven, eight. Academy two now over 600. They dominated all last year. Nice bid, eight and the 10. He's at the 140 mark right now, those eight down. Crawford for a spare, that won't carry. Two left, five right, trying to get to 120. Respectable first string. Jalbert field goal for an eight, nothing wrong with the 140 first string with him and Dave Goblin combined, 283. Crawford gets a 10, 120 opening string. Update from Bob Lee. Well, let's uh, show you the whole scoreboard now. 616 to 554. Academy two behind what Paul Grant was just saying. Dave Godwin, Tim Jalbert with the big big strings. Top uh, top string from Pete Crawford on Academy three. We're gonna have to see a little more out of Academy three. Ed Woodside put his one dollar donation in Calipers of Kansas Buckets. Fair enough, fair enough. Second string underway, middle string. JB trying to rally his team like he did last week. Spread Eagle. Jimbo Ayop for a strike, he's got it. They got seven strikes in the match. Academy three had 20 last week. Oh, what a try on the spread eagle. Two in the four for JB. It'll be JB from Maine pretty soon, Bob Lee mentioned earlier. The wood to settle down in the back. They'll get one for a nine. What's the score that first string, Bob, again? Uh, six, eight. Was six, 16 to five, 54. 62 pin win. Clipped wing eagle for Jimbo. 2-1 split for JB. I'm going to kick it over somehow. Right here if you want to look at him. Okay, thank you. Ball still rolling around. Can it go? Trying to will it. Goes away. Two in the four for Ayat. 18. Eight net strike, 18 through one. His team is up nine already, 71 in the match. JB a 116 first, Jimbo Ayotte a 111 right. first. So he, he's obligated, even if that was in the channel, the rules say you have to remove it. Um. I think they should amend that, just say if you hit it, it's, it's a foul, it's like going on the channel. It's, it's dangerous. It, yeah, it can affect the, affect the ball. Yeah, I know, it hurt it the ball. Yeah, I understand. 
I got yelled at for hit, throwing <laughs> it one when it was even in the channel. I've done that before, too. <laughs> Just a bit outside. Ready to start again. Second box, second string. That trip for nothing. Thanks a lot, Dave Godwin saying. <laughs> it's a laugh, pair of nines. And they're joking with each other, harassing each other, obviously. Jimbo gets a nine after a strike eight, 27 through two. JB, make the trip worth it, man. <laughs> that was that was a uh, sticking wood. It was it was up against the wall. If he'd hit it with any kind of a normal shot, it would have shot out and it would not have carried. You'd have had to make it. We're taking a special kind of contact. Look at this leaf, Mike Nardone. He's being kicked that wood over somehow. Here's Austin Barnes on lane three. Pocket shot, he has a 2-2 split. So here, here's my observation. Uh, other than Mike Dar Dar Nardone is the only guy on Academy 3 who throws a reverse ball. All the rest of them throw right to left balls. And Joe Smith on Academy 2 is the only one who throws a right to left ball. Everyone else throws a reverse ball. Look at that shot by Barnes. Five, four out of the five guys. Four out of the five guys on Academy 2. Mike with a nine to start a second. Barnes trying to gain a pin and does. Austin Barnes has a 405 high series this year. Mike Mardone's high single this season in the Friday Night Pro League 157. Austin has a 152. Mardone, one of the 10. Another four from the post for Austin Barnes. We've seen this a couple times already. Is it about the same as the Clary ball? About the same, about 20% shot, approximately? Yeah, I, um, I put them together in the same pile uh, when I was doing my, my studies back in 2021. They, I, had, I had a large number of them, and then and I, just, I just put them together because they were so similar. The, the, number, the numbers were, had to get up to 200 to be happy. 19.9% now. Now, Dome picks up the head pin for a 10, 19 through 2, in the second of three. Austin, for a pair of 10s, gets a 9, 19 through 2. Early lead for Academy 2 in the string. They lead in the match. Middle bowl is the captains, Dave Hodge Malahan, 114 first. Dave Gaumann, a stunning 143, three strike, including a double on the first. He was terrific, wasn't he, Bob? That's like vintage Dave Godwin. Yeah. Haji, two four spear chance. We I gotta say this. I'm gonna be in Scarborough this weekend for the any doubles tournament for Kennel Pins for Kansas. I've got to ask JP this question though. Are you going to Scarborough Maine? Haji Spare. It is. Godwin. Oh, just missed the five somehow. Bouncy ball 10. He bounced the ball. Is he hitting the foul line, Bob, in that first ball? He's just dropping it. Not two. necessarily. It, it's a good. It's a good chance because it that one. That one hopped a little more, but um, I'll, I'll try to. I'll, I'll try to watch it to be sure. Haji on the spare. That Left side dropped. takes down nine. Nineteen through one. He dropped that one in front of that foul line. Come and bounce again. Yeah. Those are in front of the foul line. Both yeah. in both spaces. Drop a little too soon. Maybe a ten pin falls down. He's got a one two three triangle. Two left, three right. Haji for two in a row on lane four. Clean shot. Right on it. 29 of the ball through two.
Dave taking his time. Locked and loaded, ready to go. For a spare, up the wall, just bounced behind the two. Two close calls. Didn't go. Ten, 20 through two. One mark to none for Academy three. The number five seed trails the number four seed Academy 2 on Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube. 66 apiece for all square. Plus a ball for Academy 3. Here's Ed Woodside. Beautiful ball. Nine. Just the six for a spare. He, he had a look at determination on his face, did he not? Yes. Smith crossing over. 3 5 9. Woodside's. No, oh, you could be kidding no. me. Wow. Talk about a bad wow. That was almost that was a, short, a short bet. Oh, well. And Smith, that won't go. All right. Ed missed the second, made the third. Ten. And Smith matches with a ten. 76 apiece, plus a ball for Academy three on the right. Trying to get the match to two apiece and cut down that 62 pin deficit after one. Not going to win many matches with a 554. Woodside, 1 3, 9 10. Smith steps up, stops, delivers. Another head pin hit. Seven goes, six right for a spare. Woodside missed left, one of the three. 113.17 overall average, 112.36 in the road. Smith nope, leads up nope. the six. Joe, 115.56 overall, 115.53. Close on the road. Has 1,400 this season. In fact, nine of the 10 balls tonight have at least 1,400. Dave Cobb, because of the injuries, has not had one yet. But the way he's bowling, he may get his first tonight. Of course, PD Pete with the season high. Yep. For the Friday Night Pro League. Single and average and, not average, single and, and trip, uh, high three and two strike pool, triple strike pool entries. Joe Smith, a pair of tens, a 10 and a nine, Fred Woodside. One pin lead for Academy three, minus a ball. Anchor time now, Pete Crawford Jr. With four. Jalbert, Tim Jalbert, three, six, seven left. Crawford, knees up number one. Great effort by Jalbert, rolling back, but too far in front. Gave it a ride. Crawford picks up the 10 to start his second of three. And ditto for Jalbert. Get the word out about Canopin Bowling. How about the Youth League? Mike McIntosh 3.0 here at Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Mass. Every Wednesday, 3.30, $10 a person, shoes included. An hour and a half to two hours of instructional Canopin Bowling. Josh Dillon and others helping out. That's a great thing. Great job, Mike McIntosh, 3.0, and others helping out. Crawford, 6-10, spare chance. 4-2 split to Jalbert. For a spare. He got it. Didn't know if that was going to go, Bob, but 20 in the ball through two. You never know what that angled would. Jalbert, good effort. Chops out the one and the nine, leaving up the 3-6 right, 4-7 left. He had a 140 first. Dave Goblin a 143 first. Nice out, eight, 18 through two. Always an update, we go back to the top of the order with executive producer of Canopin Bowling Network, Mr. Bob Lee. Well, it was a uh, low scoring first time through the order, 105 to 104 for Academy Three, but Academy Three also has the only two marks. 
So they'll, they'll get themselves up in, near the near the league average around 115. It's Jimbo time comes back with a three, one, six right, seven left. JV with nine. Almost got one earlier, a strike on a back, as it back toward it. Rolled back, I should say. Wood between the one and the six for Jimbo. And he wow. got it. Nice shot, spare. That, that was spectacular. And a spare to match for JB. 37 for Jimbo, 28 in a ball for JB. Both on spares. Ball's on a good time up there, the way it should be. On the bonus, five, 42 through three. JB off to the left, one, three. The three falls, one, seven, eight. Spare seven. Oh, eight. Make it eight. They keep go going. Hold on a second. Maybe they'll all fall. Seven and the eight. Make that 36 through three. What a shot. How about that one for a spare? Three marks and four. Back-to-back -back spares. A spare again for JB. He goes back-to-back. -back. 52 for Jimbo, 46 for JB, both on spares. Nice bowling. Four marks combined, those two boxes. How about that? So you do it. All right, yeah. I said we had a low scoring first time through, a first period, if you want to call it. They didn't like what you said, Bob, I guess, yeah. huh? Well, they're, they're, <laughs> no, they're going to work on it. I know, just kidding. These guys are uh, best in the game. They're, they're, they're not satisfied with a 104, 105. The lane reset. Boxes. The lane reset in three. So, Bob, talk about how you got Spread Eagle Productions now Ken up and Bowling Network going while we're All waiting right. for the delay here. Instead of, instead of watch it, let, let's, let's put the... <laughs> Uh, now been three years since uh, pro, the Pro Bowl I was, I, I just took the video out of the, uh, sub in a, in a, in Norway. Friday night with Rick Kimowski. Looks like lane three has been repaired. Mike Nardo putting his towel away. And, and Austin Barnes. Back to live action. Been blow on the head pin. Leaves the bundle of five minus the four. Nardone drops seven to the triangle. And that's gone. Barnes, the spare. Mike held on to that one too long. Mike, the sole bowler on Academy 3, who throws a reverse ball. So if you, if you watch the way he goes, one, two, three, four steps. And his ball travels from left to right as he, as he scores eight in the third. Austin, 29, the ball through three in the middle string. They won the first by 62. Dave Godwin. Tim Jalbert, the heroes. 
Daubert. Throwing his reverse ball into the three pin and grabs five in the film. 34 through three. 1710 Sports on the shot, I call it. The old high-low jack on channel five for Mike Nardone. Uh, so the open in the fourth, leaving the 610. High-low jack is gone. Sweet spare. Mike Nardone, 37 on a ball. He'll sit down through four. 10 for Barnes. 44 through four, now Doan 37 in the ball. Dave Hodge Bellin and two spares to start. Spare nine in the spare in lane three. Two tens for Dave, uh, for uh, Dave Godwin, the captain. Both captains, back to Bob Lee. Yeah, just, just to wrap up the filibuster about the beating of this thing. Uh, I, we found, what, what I found, I, I'm not the greatest announcer, but um, I found that a lot of people enjoyed announcing as much as they enjoy bowling. Like you, Paul. <laughs> um, and it, and and the bowlers enjoyed having an announcer at the game, so we, we just got the two together, and uh, Spread Eagle Productions was was born. Now I, I you know, I, I haven't even estimated recently. There are at least 20 people that, that announce and stream matches now. Not all for the Scanlon Bowling Network, but it's a beautiful thing. It was, it's a dream come true for me to watch to be able to watch bowling with a scoreboard and an announcer. Two in that Philford. Haji, 29 through two, six right, seven left. Yeah, it's, it's great to do this, Bob. Well, I love doing it. 10 for Godwin, three tens, perfect so far. Haji hits a nine, almost a 10. The wood stops short of the seven. 40 through three on Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Hit that subscribe button. It's always free, never a charge. Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Get your friends and family to do so also. Pro to semi and semi pro action. Godwin. Spread Eagle. We named ourselves originally after that because, frankly, something was going wrong all the time. We, we set everything up perfectly. We had the perfect equipment. We tried it. We, we prepared perfectly. And we had a mess. Like tonight for the live broadcast, <laughs> how to record it. Yeah, well, Spread Eagle Productions. What we used to say. We're getting better. The bowling alleys themselves are getting better as Haji drops down to the one and eight. And over 2,500 subscribers now to Canelton Bowling Network now. That's amazing. And not a day goes by, I'm told, when someone doesn't show up in a, um, saying they saw it on YouTube and, and uh, it, they wanted to get back into Canelton Bowling. That's why I mentioned all the broadcasts because people don't know and you know, different people watching different times. So we'd like to get as many p new people watching the game and more importantly, hopefully get involved in the sport. Nice ball there for Smith, nine. Back to Bob. All right, Woodside. Gonna make good after that tough start in the first. Let's hit the head pin again and left a little mini split. Smith is good, he throws that 30 mile an hour ball. He's the sole bowler on Academy two. He throws a right to left ball. He's Woodside. perfect, two tens and a spare, Bob. Woodside, I think I thought that, that that pin was gonna serve as a guide, but it did not treat and two pin stands. 28 through three. Peter Crawford Jr. up next on a spare for Academy three. Pin falls down, lane reset on three. Smith, okay, so, yep. five, so. back to Bob. So 35 is official. We try to talk to Dave Hodge Mallihan too when we get a chance if he's available. Later on, talk about his business. After he bowls, we'll talk to Dave Hodge Mallihan about his business. Nice bid by Smith, back to Bob. All right, Woodside, six on the right, seven pin on the left, six pins on the right. Drops it down to the five, seven, ten. Smith for his ten, goes left, swings it. Be able to make a move, make a move with it. 
Perfect so far, 45 through four. Woodside is seven, 35 through four. Scores on your screen, two spares to one for Academy three. One right now from Pete Crawford, the anchor. So ten, ten, 10 pins minus a ball. Lead for Academy two, who won string one by six to two. Yeah, 62. Petey Pete throws a hard right to left curl. That would almost roll him to seven for a strike on spare. So 29 through two on the fill. That cuts down to one pin. Marks are even now. Broke up the diamond, but is left with the half blister. And nice. Things rebounded in a funny way there, and seven pin fell in the end. For a funny guy, 39 in the ball through three. That's a 10. 28 through three for Jalbert. Advantage Academy three. Jalbert in on the three pin. Leads the one, two, and 10. EDP in the bonus. That one got away from him. He fell a little bit to the right and then crossed, crossed over the head pin for a five fill, 44. Beautiful pickup. Tim Jalbert did not lose his balance on that one. <laughs> Sit down, 38 and a ball. PDP with the spare. He's got three in a row, 54 and a ball through four. Getting close to the halfway point of the match. Academy three trying to even up a two apiece. Two marks apiece, back to the top of the order. Update from Bob Lee. Well, let's, drag, let's drag the scoreboard up in full so people can see it at home. Scores 222 to 218. Still, still a little, little bit low, but two marks apiece. Both on spares. Should get him closer to that. That 115 pro standard. Each with six fills. Jimbo 58 through four, JP 52 through four on Candlepin Bowling Network. Nice shot. Just missed the seven. Jimbo just missed left, thought he had it. JB gets a nine. Halfway through his match, he's at 61 through five. Jimbo grabs three of the four. Wood will not get to number one for a nine, 67 half. Jimbo has two 400s, a 432 and a 414. JB with nine. Nine drop for JB. Back, back to Bob Lee. Jalbert comes, oh, he taps the four, that was a four pin. It got the head of the head pin after rolling into, the, after, after rolling into the left gutter, I believe. Mirror side leaves. Yep. No. He's missed some close ones tonight. Yeah. Hey, got his. Just Barely. catches it on the left side. Big exchange there. 77 the ball through six. And missed the second, make the third for JB. 10, missed opportunity again, 71 through six. Right. Mike Nardone, Austin Barnes. Mike on a spare, 37 the ball, Austin, 44 through four, not on a mark. Yeah, our scores are checked and confirmed with the official score. score. So four pin lead for Academy three, down 58 in the match, two hits apiece, both spares, all spares. At five from now, don't score, 42 through four. That puts him up to nine right now, down a mark. Back to Bob. Okay, that was a thin blow on the left side of the head pin. Leaving the three, five, and the 10. Oh, Nardone, I think that, I think that wood that was down blocked any, any action on that one. Nardone, who was? In a 
And his spare ended up with a five fill there. So 52 half, through halfway through his match. Barnes gets an eight. 52 half, halfway through his match. Academy three has the lead. By 11 in the string, the lead's down to 51 in the match for Academy two. Two marks to one though for Academy two. On the left, back to Bob. Hey, Austin. Drops his ball down. He, he comes, comes over across. It's a, it's a reverse ball. He drops it down in front of the two pin. And it came, in that case, it came over and hit the three pin. Nardone had a variation of the diamond, some sort of crystal. Now he has a half Worcester. His third ball coming up. These ones will go, I would guess, about 6% of the time. Because that's how often it's higher on the first. The it's, high, it's more so on the first ball. It's higher percentage. It seems like. Is it? No, no. Six percent. Six percent of head pins turn into spread eagles. There yeah. are nines there. It's eleven no percent for the half wester, right? Half wester. Yeah, but there are two, two different sides. Yeah. So people miss left and get. Six percent of misses turn into spread uh, into half westers, and six percent of head pins turn into uh, spread eagles. So Sorry, Austin Barnes, Mike, now don't each sixty-one through six. Here's Dave. Gob on the left and Dave Hodge Malahan on the right. Leans 10 to the 6, not the 3. Would to help to the 4 7. Gob went crossing over. Sorry, Bob. I loved it. Yeah, he, he, does, he does it every time. It's not, it's not like he's dropping the ball. He, 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 he comes at it with a steep angle. Hodge too far left in that shot. Dave clean shot at the 6 for a spare. Got it. Nines and tens lead to marks. Uh, Case in point, 39 through four without a mark. 49 half plus one after 143 first. Haji and eight, 58 half, halfway through his match. Now at the halfway point of the match, Bob. That's right. Let's see what the score is. 8.86, so they're headed, yeah, neither team on track for uh, 1,800. That would be the gold standard for winning in the Friday Night Pro League. Hodge, Pretty strike, ball. how about that? Nice shot. Yep. 68 plus two through six. Very full hit, but his, his ball, I saw, I saw his, uh, his ball come through and drive straight through the five, eight, and nine in the, in the, uh, Head pin splashed across to take, take out the rest. I believe the 10 was the last of all on that strike. Sure. Goblin trying to get a big out here. We're going to talk to Dave Hodge Malahan in just a moment, captain for Academy 3. Dave gunning for a 10 on lane 3 here at Academy Lanes. Pub 125, Haverhill Mass gets a 9. After a spare 655, half 64 through 6. Dave Hodge Malahan, captain of Academy 3. Two excellent weeks in a row, a 6 2 8 0 sweep back to back, including position round against Academy 1. Now you're fifth, chasing Academy 2. Yeah, big match tonight. Real big match tonight. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough match going in, back on the lanes and everything. So, uh, judging from last week's match, we were down 40 something pins going into the last couple boxes, and we came back and, and won. So, you know, I, tell, I told Peter Crawford, all we're going to do is give you a chance, you know, and that's. Strike the, for Smith! Nice ball, nice ball, Joe. Um, you know, we just got to give him a chance. That's how it is with this sport. It's funny. Woodside for a spare, seven, nine, ten. Good, Good try. Old, uh, how, how? I know Ed's not having the best year, but he's so clutch, though. He said a big week last week. He's you know, still money a lot of times. He, he threw 150 game last week when we really yep. needed him. So you know, I, I try to keep his confidence up. He always tells me, you know, that any given time. You know, and it's that's just how it goes. It's with all the all the bowling we all do all the time, we all can kick it at any given time. So that's right. So talk about the importance of the spin on your ball. Yep. So for myself personally, um, ever since I've been a little kid, I always had that massive like rotation on the ball, and for me, it helps with a lot of backspin. I get a lot of backdoor action because of that rotation. So 
similar to 10 pin. You know, you get a lot, the more rotation you have on a 10 Oh, pin what a shot have. for a spare. Nice Sorry, Dave. Wow. Nice job, Eddie. Nice job. See, he must have hurt us. <laughs> See, that's how it is. You, we know he knows we're talking bad about him. That's why. 55. No, oh, only good things. Well, I always no, say good things about the bowlers. Just kidding. Just kidding. 55 and a ball through six. I actually joke around a little bit sometimes. Smith, eight. Nice job, old man. Six in the strike, 61 after, 69 through six. Talk to Captain Dave Hodge Mallon, Academy 3. All right, business before pleasure. Let's talk yeah. about your business, first of all. Yeah, so I um, I actually, we, I just bought my own uh, flooring company August of this, this past year, and uh, we've been open for seven months, um, and it was we were going through renovations the whole time, so we're going to be having a big grand opening uh, the first Friday in April, so... Uh, everybody's welcome. So tell, um, tell me the name of the business, what you do. It's New England Flooring and Backsplashes, and we do complete home renovations, um, complete tile work, um, kitchen, bathrooms, basic from frame to finish, you know, whatever's needed is done. Um, we have our own team, and uh, we're open seven days a week. That's the luxury of it. We're open seven days a week. And you also worked at the 1710 Sports Center in Augusta, Maine with Mark Carrier. I did, yeah. I, we actually, my, my, my company, we, we went up there one day, and transformed his lanes, all the all, all the all the flooring over there. Um, so I put that on my website too, which is nice. It's a feature. That's another thing that we do. We sand and refinish lanes. We do everything. Talk about the website, the phone number to contact you. Sure. Um, so our website is uh, anyflooring and backsplashes dot com. Um, our phone number is seven eight one six one eight nine one zero zero. Give that website and phone number again, please. Sure. It's uh, anyflooring and backsplashes dot com. Or you can go to nef and b.com, either one. Um, we have two sites. How's business? Uh, business, um, it's been picking up. We had a beautiful new sign, and um, I'm going to be featured in the home show up in Foxborough uh, coming up in uh, March 22nd, 23rd, Excellent. 24th, also at my own booth. So any support uh, would be welcome. Come and see me, and uh, you'll be getting some discounts. All right. Mention, you, you, you mentioned wow when you get a discount. How about if you get a double strike? Uh, if you don't get a double strike, you make a disc donation. I agree. If I, if, 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 I don't, if I don't throw a double when I get there, it's five bucks to the, to, to the Cato Pits of Cancer. Okay. All right? No pressure. No pressure. No, I never, never anybody. I, I love this sport. Tell the viewers about you real quick. Your high single, your high triple for your career, your high five for those who don't know you. Sure. Um, so my, my, my era time was back in the early 2000s. You know, 2010, I was in my early 20s. Uh, but I have a high single of uh, 193. Uh, a high triple of uh, 4.93, and a high five of 7.87. You're on TV quite a few times, too. I have uh, about 25 TV appearances total back in the early 2000s. Um, now it's more exciting that you know that we have YouTube now, not like Channel 50, and um, you know everything that you guys do for us now. It's it's nice because we, we we miss it, and it's very appreciative. It's a lot of hard work doing what you guys do, um, you know, behind the scenes to make us see. Kind of, we, we look at our mistakes and see things that we could have done better and whatnot. Same you know, for us. <laughs> you know, night to night, it, night, night to night, it's fun and, and it's exciting. Most of us like the highlight rails and just to kind of look back and see different things. I know it helps me personally. Um, it's kind of like riding a bike, but you know, um, you just got the more reps you do, the better you get. So, all right, the website in front of it one more time for New England. Sure. Uh, so my company, we do full service renovations, kitchens, tiles, carpet, anything in the home inside. We do. It's any, any. Uh, I'm sorry. Get over, get over. Come on, one more. Uh, so it's ne, um, nefnb.com. Sorry, and then our phone number is seven eight one six one eight nine one zero zero. And ask for Dave. Um, you'll see someone's there seven days a week. So we appreciate the support, and I'll take good care of you. This community is a beautiful community. So you know we all take care of each other in any way we can. Hey, you want to so try some play by play? Ooh, this is back in the day. All right, let's go. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm with you. Not while you're bowling, though. Why not? This, this, I, I love this stuff. <laughs> well, Mike, you like Kerry and Caitlin Finn. I remember back in the day when I when I, I I owned Melrose Bowl back in the day. Now it's a big, huge complex. So those were fun times. I used to do a lot of practice in there when I was in my my early early teens. All right, why don't you do the next two bowls before you bowl on your strike, okay? Your five dollar strike, double strike challenge it's, for Candlebits for Cancer. It's coming. Thank you, All right, guys. Dave Hodge Malahan, the play by play, the next two boxes. We, we, we appreciate it. All right, up there. Come on, Mike Nardone. Now you got to call. You can't call him bias now. You got to be called neutral now. Awesome powers. Let's go. <laughs> I, I love them all. Both. Bo I've been teammates with both of them at different times. That's the fun thing about the sport what, too. How good has Austin Barnes been? Great, phenomenal. He's always solid. Very consistent bowler. Very quiet. All right, Dave. On the play by play. Take Mike it away, Nardone. Dave. Just, just, just left of the headpin. 
left the cluster of, of four and two in the left. Austin with a beautiful spare leave off the mix. Oh my God, that's how this game goes sometimes. All right, just missed my two and two. What a, what a fun shot this is gonna be. I call that a banana, banana split. It is the banana split, right? Yeah. Or oh, 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 the teeth, two and two. Yeah. Right, I like two the banana, and two. Banana split sounds better, it tastes uh, better too. All right, I, I couldn't agree more. Especially, especially a friendly banana split. You yeah. stick the headpin of the five pin, it's a Jim Dandy. True that, true that. Spring's coming soon, so we all need the nice, we're, we're thinking of ice cream, so. Great 10, Austin, right in the face. And Mike for a seven box. Oh, that's all right. right, right back at it. This game, keep on the head pin. You never know what's going to happen. All right, one more box and you get a bowl. Sounds good. Say that website one more time. Let's don't misunderstand that website sure. again. So the website is nefandb.com. Um, that's nefandb.com. It's New England foreign and backsplashes. Austin all over the head pin. Up up the two six. And uh, Mike Nadon left to the head pin. Looks like Academy, we are uh, up 13 pins going into, I'm sorry, right here, 359, 372, 13. Down 13, I apologize, sorry. These, these, these young 40 year old eyes. Thank you guys. Awesome and, uh, All right, good luck. Thank you. Dave Hodge Malhan. Love you guys. Thank you. Big spare there. All right, so the lead is now moving toward uh, Academy 2. Academy 3 with the, with the uh, bonus balls up 3 to. Far away, talking to Dave Hodge Malhan, great guy. Peter Crawford Jr. and Tim Jabba got spares as the anchors. We're in the seventh box, second string from Academy Lanes, Havel Mass, Bob 125. And doesn't get double strike, he's donating, donating $5 to Canal Prince for Cancer. Five dollars it is. Maybe, maybe not. Almost stole it. Yeah, you get you get more money out of the Pro Bowlers on double strikes than you would out of lemon drops. Goblin can't connect. Three-one split. Haji for a spare on strike for a big twenty. He's got, got it. it. Seventy-eight through six. Eighty-eight in the ball through seven. Should do more interviews, Bob. Huh? Goblin tough six. Former owner of the Melrose Bowl, right? Yep, 70 through seven. Academy three. Trying to split the points at two apiece. Heading into the final string. They're up nine. Is it right now, Bob? Down it's, one. Uh, Down one. Yep. But three marks to two in their direction. The virtual lead, a tight one. Got humbled in the first by 62. That's right. So after this ball, they'll be even on mark. So this, this is, this is going to tell you what the lead is right here. Two for the lead. Oh, four. Four, so they lead by three, 92 through seven on Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. One, four, seven, nine for Godwin. Tough leaf for three in a row, missed inside, same spot. You see that spin, Paul? Yep. It's a, it's a lot more spin than the average, average pro bowler. Nice off of Dave, pretty shot for a 10. 80 through eight. Haji, only two for a six. Negating the spare four fill. 98, 98 through eight. And Academy two back in the lead with a one pin lead, both squads with a mark. One of those at Woodside here. Both teams with two marks. As Smith finds the head pin and is rewarded with a mini split. It's a five, eight, and seven. And a spread eagle for Woodside in the fill, 59 through six. A tough 93 first string. All right, Smith is on the eight pin. 59 clear. through six now for Woodside, yeah. make that. That'll be a nine, 78. Woodside is back to the good, three. Great out. The proverbial, you know, the 
the 10 that is almost as hard to get as a, as a spare would be on a, on a half Worcester, for instance. 69 through seven for Woodside. Joe splits two and one. One spare for each side now. One, actually two to one for Academy now in their favor. Back to Bob Lee. All right, another two and one split with Wood to support him. Smith is taking aim at the three and the six. Boom! Oh, I, <laughs> geez, the, with his ball, one of the one of the lighter balls in the pro in the, in the Friday Night Pro League, 30 miles an hour. You wondered if it if it would have if it would be able to deflect, but it it just drove straight back and the wood wood moved. But good ten for Smith. 88, and that's a nine. For Woodside, that puts us to a three pin lead for Academy Three in red. Madonna Mark. Both the anchor bowlers working on spares. Tim Jalbert pushes off. Takes a stutter step with his first two and then pushes off hard behind that right to left ball. Gain for Academy two on that is Jalbert with eight. Oh, look at that, the ball right in the Whoa. 10. What a shot, right in the middle of the pin. Back to back, 74 through six, 84 and a ball through seven. Crawford's fill is four, 83 through six. Wraps around the six for a nine, 92 through seven. Back to Bob Lee. All right, the lead is now two, plus two bonus balls for Academy two. Let's look, see if you can uh, zone in. Beautiful, oh my goodness, I love that Jalbert ball. It comes in from right to left, but the spin is left to right, and the and, and that, that combo just causes pins to fly left and right. Eight in the pit, two on the deck, all of them down. Strike on spare, jeez, love that. Crawford open in the eighth. This for a 10. That would be a nine. That was in the channel. All right. And Jalbert's performance there puts, puts Academy 2 up to a 13 pin lead, matching their highest of the game. Plus a spare and a strike. JV misses. Jimbo did not miss, but he's got a setback as a reward for a beautiful pocket shot on the right side. JV connects. Plays that one inside the hole, like, sort of like, like the way you try to convert on a half Worcester fill. He's at 99 in the ball. Well, Bob, you guys get a break me next week. The audience gets a break me next week. I'll be in Newport, Maine for the Maine State Pearson Classic, very popular tournament. Our highest view show right now is the Pearson Classic from Big 20 last year or two from Can on Canada from Bowling Network on YouTube from the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. The the viewers in Maine are, you gotta say, they are more intense. Uh, and Paul, their relationship with you and with the network is extraordinary. And they've been very generous to Candle Prince for Cancer also. Jimbo now, taking aim at a 10, we'll take nine. So it'll be nine o'clock and two o'clock sat uh, Saturday, March 9th on Candle from Bowling Network on YouTube, 10 string matches. Piece of cake, two 10 string matches the same day, Bob, and a three hour, almost a three hour ride back to Haverhill. Brilliant. Thanks to Tony Allen and the others up in Newport, Judy Bowden, help me, help put me up in a- more tired than bowling. They'll put me up in a motel 20. there on their dime, so thank you for helping out with that. All right, back to live action, Bob Lee. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming! It's gone! The Julian strike! He unzipped 
He unzipped the four horsemen, found a unicorn inside. It's not supposed to come when you turn around. Holy crow. Just the way he drew it up. 104 plus two yeah. through eight. Jibbo, yeah, Jibbo at 121. They got two strikes, one spare on the board, so one spare for Academy three. And now they're trying to go up four nothing. That's a, that was, that was fun to watch, but that is enormous for the, uh, for the match. Three marks to none, they're up 10. Plus this fill. And more. More late falling, but do you see him? Look he didn't that. turn all the way around. That's Jimbo. why it didn't. He didn't turn all the way. It would have gone if he turned all the way around. All right now, now Jimbo, he's... tactical error. Come on. All right now he's got some. He's gonna have to play uh, <laughs> racquetball with this one. Bounce it off the wall or off a cap. Jimbo, turn around. They'll all fall. He gets a kick out of that one. Oh, what, what a, a shot. shot! Came out in front. He managed to get it in front of the seven pin. Nice a, string, 130. 19 box, yeah. 241 through two. JB, 111, 227 his first two. Eight box to go. And Academy, three, had him on the ropes. But now Academy, two, has the lead, plus a strike and a spare. Up 19. Back to Bob Lee. Mike Nardone comes in straight on that one, straight through the right side. The half Worcester. Two in the fill. Yeah, strike for oh, Barnes on spare. On spare. No, it was not a fill. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Th yeah, it's a strike yeah. on spare. Nope. 91 oh. through 8, 101 plus 2 through 9. Statement shot there by Barnes. Nardone still looking at 6. Manages to. Wow. <laughs> Manages to get three of them and leave the back three pins. 83 through 9. That's. That's another big exchange. 32 the lead now for Academy 2. Central 2's eight points beyond Academy 3 coming in since tonight. Academy 1, 11 points beyond Academy 3 coming in. And Riverwalk 16 awesome. behind eighth. Back on the head pin, it's coming. These the, these the two six. Fair bid, no message. Ten pin all alone, doesn't hear from home. Okay, nine on that strike bill. Now don't nine, 92 He's second string. 41, Paul, just like that. Barnes 10 after the strike, 9, 110 through 9, 120, second string. Two strings over average again in a sense. 237 through 2. Now don't 203 through 2, six blocks to go in the second of three. On Canlifman Bowling Network, Friday Night Pro League, game of the week, week 25 of 35. Bob Lee to finish up the string. Okay, Haji, who got hot last time up. Going to need to get hot again. Trailing by 42. It's a 98 through 8. Now right split. to left ball. This time, that was very similar to the strike ball, but it, that one was just a little bit more full by an eighth of an inch or so. Okay. Good. Good outcome when you hit the four pin for that. Ah, oh, good bid. Hodge tried to bounce one off the wall. Didn't get any purchase. Hey, <laughs> <Nice> shot. <laughs> now I get a ball through nine. The bouncing. Oh, oh the wood hit the seven. Wouldn't go for Hodge yep. for Malahan for nine. Behind. 107 through nine. Five box to go. And Academy two could put this in the books. There's a pin, one pin lead a cup of coffee ago. Now it's, what, 42, 43? Yeah. Wow. Started started the anchor slot there. Academy Haji. two, ten points ahead of Academy three coming in this four five matchup. Back to Bob. Six on the fill. Godwin, ninety six. And the lead's back all the way up to forty nine. 
Dave, 105.80 overall average, 109.08 on the road. High series, 357. Should surpass that tonight, the way he's bowling. Last ball, the second string now from the number three bowlers. Good 10, 117. 231 through two for Haji. Godwin, eight. After a spare six, 96 through nine, 104. Second string, 247 for Mr. 235. It's still a strike on the board for Academy 2. Plus a 47 pin lead. And could Academy 3 get that Academy 3 magic from last week in the first string? If you missed that one, folks, go back and watch that first string especially. Academy 1 and Academy 3. Back to also go at about a 20% rate. This one has wood. Should be a little better than that. Smith down to the four horsemen. Almost. The wood did its job, took out the, the sleeper pin in the back. Smith overcooked that one and 87. Smith gains the 10, 98, 98 through nine, right Bob? Yep. Final three boxes, middle string. Again, two points for per string per win, one for a tie, two for total. Eight points overall. Oh boy. Nice looking pocket shot. King size bed pose. Smith gets the strike. The nine was the last to fall. 108 plus two in the tenth. He has two strikes to go with a spare here in the second string. Which side picked up with the wood. Woo! 97 the ball on the 10th. Right. Yeah, that was his second spare. So Academy to Jim Boy has two strikes in the string. Tim Jalbert has one. Joe Smith has one. And Austin Barnes has one. They had, I think, six in the first ball, but seven in the first. Six here in the second. So at least 12 strikes in the match. All right, six to 103, just 196 for two for Woodside. Joe's on a strike. That's right. Final ball from Smith. Get eight in the fill and a 116. 221 through two. Final two boxes of the second. Tim Jalbert on the left on a strike. 104 plus two, Pete Crawford, 101 through eight, not on a mark. And it's going to be four points to none for the defending champs. An inch close to Hingham. A dozen points behind coming in. Can't catch him tonight. Walk the back, walk back to Bob Lee to wrap up the first second. Pete and Tim Jalbert both pound the three pin, the two pin. Jalbert working on a strike. Nice job. That was the one three. Nine and 10 for the spare. Five on the fill. Right Delbert 109. <laughs> Decent out for an eight and a 117 through nine. Final box, the second string. Next Friday night, the match be determined. Bob Lee and or Greg Guillard. Hopefully. Oh, well, that, that was a fill ball. Three for Crawford. 114 through nine. Had a 121st. Tim Jalbert a 141st. Oh. Outdone by Split. Dave Godwin's 143 first. Split broke up for Jalbert. And Crawford executes. He'll get an 11th rack, as will Jalbert. Tim, 127, 124, and a ball for Pete Crawford, Jr. They're not head-to-head, -head, but every bowler knows whether he's beaten his, his opponent. Oh, no. Well, that, that was good. That was a good eight drop. 129, 249 through two for Peter Crawford, Jr. 
Galbert 7, 134. He's at 274. The 400 watches on. BD Pete's at 132. 132 officially, my mistake. Yep. 252 make it. And a 134 for Jalbert. 274 through two. He's a 126 for that 400 mark. Two down, one to go. Friday Night Pro League, game of the week, week 25. Paul Grant Bob Lee live on Candle. Well, not live now. We we're, are dead. We we're recording this match because the uh, firewall wasn't working. It's working. It's just working too well. It's a problem. And uh, we're going to get started right on the third, third string, Paul. Will I reset the uh, scoreboard? Will you please do the call? All right, thank you, Bob Lee. Executive producer at Cannon Family Network, Bob Lee. Final string underway. Academy two, looking for the sweep. Good try by Ayot. All but the seven. Academy three can still get four. They need a monster finish. Just a little update. Uh, Tim Jalbert um, with the 274 he is, the, is the top bowler of the 10. Followed by his fellow anchor, Pete Crawford with the 252. Dave Godwin with a 247. Austin Barnes, 230. Uh, actually, Jim Ayotte with a 241 in Austin Barnes with a 237. What was the final score, Bob, that second string, please? It was uh, 604 to 555. So 554, 555 for Academy 3, 616, 604 for Academy 2. 10 to 9 in the first box for Academy 3. Wood rolling around for the goalpost for Jimbo Ayotte. Number 6 coming to last weekend's Pro Series at Lake, Lake, Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. 6 in the Pro Series, won it last year. For a spare, he got oh, it. Nice shot. shot. 19 of the ball through 2. JB. He's up the four and the nine. JB waiting for that wood to stop rolling around by rule. Trying to get the two tens. Which he does nice. in the final string of the match. One pin lead for Academy Three minus the ball though. Second bowl is Mike Nardone, Austin Barnes. Austin Barnes, 237 is first two. Mike Nardone, 203 is first two. The onslaught continues. Academy two looking for a sweep. Barnes pocket shot, 25, 8, 10. Wood behind. Nardone, two in the eight, half Worcester. Don't you just love that shot? I don't think so. Barnes, nice shot. Can't get to the 10. Now, don't. Good second ball. Look at this. A banana split plus the five. A Jim Dandy. That looks like, looks like something you'd see on a circuit board. I don't know. Barnes in the channel for a nine. To start his final string. Now, don't. Slips left. A six. Get the word out about this great game of Canopin Bowling. Please support your local sense with Canopin gift cards for any occasion. Mother's Day, Father's Day coming up also soon. Graduations, birthdays, anniversaries, and of course the holidays. Yeah, a great way to get friends involved. I would say any anyone on the South Shore, I would say your obligation is to say goodbye to Norwood Sports Center before June. Get get in there, just just go there some some afternoon, take a day off, bowl ten strings. They're, they're going to charge you. You know, if you're if you're over sixty five, it's four bucks. Um, I think it's it's five bucks if you're off the street. Uh, just just. It's closing. It's another another famous old house. 32 lanes. It will be gone. Is Austin Barnes connects. Now don't sweeps up the wall. Spare the match. Air spares for the number two bowl. That's almost a wobbling strike for Barnes. And wiggle held up. Gets the spare. 19 in the ball through two. So the first two balls for Academy. 19 in the ball. Two marks to one for Academy two. And a two-pin lead also. I bowled there in Norwood once or twice before, too. It, it's a house of pain. That and you should, go there, you should go there um, expecting to, you know, breaking 100. If you're a one, if you're a 100 bowler, don't expect to break 90. <laughs> That's my advice. <laughs> well, how about the opposite side? Newport, Maine, Newport Entertainment, Newport Entertainment Center, Newport, Maine. That's the fastest house in Maine. Probably second, second is Augusta, Maine. Talking to Tony, Tony Allen up there, and all playing Belfast, probably the third fastest, arguably. 
But Newport, they fly. That's like the Millis, the yep. Millis of Maine. Look at that shot, spare, wow. Spare 10 of the ball to start the final string, trying to get at least two points. Uphill battle for four in total. Godwin, nice effort, gets it for a 10. Godwin on the comeback trail. Injury plague season, getting healthier. Beautiful ball strike, wow, what a bomb! 20 plus two through two. Haji versus strike, he gets nine. Godwin, 34 years young. 235 high single, the old Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire, just over the Salem, New Hampshire line, no longer there. High triple 486, high five 784. And there's a spare for Haji. He goes back to back. 29 of the ball through two. All right, three marks to two for Academy two. Academy three though with the lead. Joe Smith in the pocket with strike. He gets nine, he leads up the four. Can Ed follow suit? He gets nine himself. Hey, how about it? How, how about, about ten? Strike, yeah. they all fall. Pins are caffeinated here in the third. Ten plus two. Does not equal twelve. Well, it could. Sweet Smith spare. for spare. Look at the marks fly. Yeah, a lot higher scoring than the, uh, the first time through in the second string. Remember, it was 104 to 105. Four marks and seven marks of Academy Two here in the early in the fifth. There's a post with the full horseman, 15 through one. Four marks in a row for Academy Three is Woodside 179 on a strike. They got four marks already themselves. Smith hit the wood, almost got it. Woodside for a spare. How about he got it. it. <laughs> 20 through one, 30 in the ball through two. Here comes the rock. Smith 10, 25 through two on Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube. 1,000 videos pretty soon. This week, probably Bobby next week. Very exciting. Hit that subscribe button. Always free. Anchor time. Tim Jabba's a 140 and a 134. For a triple strike in the World Tournament in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, in that first string. Crawford three, six, nine, ten. Watch that thrilling match. Probably our best all-time higher show, Bob, when it's all said and done. On Canada Bowling Network and YouTube, the World Finals. Jabba, one of the three, still there. Crawford, tough leave. Spins left, one, three, four, seven left. Third and final string. Jalbert nine to start his final string. 126 for 400. It's a 411 already this season. Crawford gets a nine. Good out there. Pete leads the league, 453 and High three in the high single, 227, that's six strikes in a row. Eight bowls have at least a triple strike. 38 bowls, the 150 or higher string, and 28 bowls, at least a 400 plus. At least one 400, some have more, obviously. Josh Gillius, seven, he's killing it. Profit five, one split, three, one split for Jalbert. Excellent try. Wow. Some of the seven goals, the 10 does not. Funny game. Crawford on the bundle of five, gets three, two, four, 10. We'll get an update from Bob Lee at the top of the order after this ball. In the channel for a nine. Wow. Good job, the ball comes back on a rebound. Offensive rebound, doesn't count in Canada from bowling. Too bad you have a rule if the throw ball's back, you get to throw a fourth ball. That'd be something. Right, that was it. Eight for Crawford, 17 through two. Jalbert, 18 through two. Update from Bob Lee. Well, we'll pull it down. 
too. You can see everybody's scores there. 112, 101, both teams with three marks on the board, including a strike for uh, Dave Godwin. All the rest were spares. Dave Godwin for Academy 2. Academy 2 looking for the sweep, but Academy 3 has, has the lead. Minus uh, one fill ball. JBS two tens to start. Jimbo Ayotte's on a spare after a 10 on lane three. Smooth ball on the crossover. It's a check mark, 26 through two. Correction, 25 through two at a nine. Spare six, 25 through two. JB with a pack of six. It's now a pack of two. Jimbo spins around. Three right, five left. That would have been something. JB cleans up for a 10 box. Solid pinning, three tens. Jimbo, nine. 34 through three in the third. Two marks for each side, a strike and a spare for Academy Two. Two spares, both for the second and third bowlers, respectively. Six pin lead for Academy Three on the right. Match lead over 100, 105 right now. JB, pocket shot is a triangle, two middle, four left, five right. Jimbo pounds the strike zone, nine, the six falls down. Clean shot at the seven for a spare. JB, connect spare. All tens, now a spare, 40 to ball through four. How good can this kid get? He's only 26 years young from Holyoke Mass, be in Maine sometime later this year, we're told. Breaking news. Got uh, all kinds of life changes happening. Jimbo 10, fours a wild, 44 through four. Six pin lead. But four marks on the board for Academy Three. Both on spares here, Bob. Mike plus two balls, I would say. Mike a six and a spare. Austin Barnes a nine and a spare. Just oh, missed left. Boy. That one didn't spin, didn't, didn't move left to right as much as his usual bar. One, Seven is good field, though. Yeah, one, three, nine. Barnes in the bonus. He goes left, he comes back for the three. One, seven, right side, six, ten. On the spare, Mike's 23 through two. Austin is 25 through two. Nice shot for a spare from Mike Nardone. 33 and a ball through three. Barnes, nice shot, he got it! Would you take a look at that? 35 and a ball through three. Both out of the end on spares. Now Doan, right side, lucky to get seven. One, nine, 10. 40 through three. Barnes turn on the nose, nine. Just missed the six for a strike. Wood rolling left to right, not enough on it. He was hoping. 44 through three. Now Doan for another one. He got it! Wow. He missed the head pin, the Wood swept it over. He's got three in a row. 15 a ball through four. Barnes for another one. No, oh, it came back, the ball's stolen. Wow, he's got three in a row. 54 and a ball through four. Take it while you can. Helps to throw the ball 40 miles an hour. I believe, I think that's a play, I think this is Austin's play, but I think it's a design play, Bob. What do you think? <laughs> He was aiming for the middle of the wood. <laughs> he got a lift, got a big loft on that one. Dennis McKinley's in the house. Haji, the captain, spare nine, spare three that time, 32 through two. Dave Godwin's on a strike. It's fourth one of the night. Got a double in the first. That's why you get two. Nardone, I mean, I'd rather Dave Hodge Malahan after Mike Nardone had a 50 plus ball through four. Trying to get the 189 for a 10 somehow. Godwin 5 on the strike, 25 through 2.
Haji, nine. 41 through three. Godwin skipped lot, bouncy ball, rather. Five. Negating that strike five. That's a Paul Granfill. Five think, and five. I think every Godwin pitch has been a skip lob. Yep. 30 through three after all that. Haji spins. Just couldn't quite get into the pocket. Five. Godwin. Seven left in front is the one, three, six. Haji's at 41 now. Nice shot. Oh, the wood. Tricky dribbled around the seven. Godwin's turn. Just missed. One of the seven. Well, it's a game of Miller specs, Bob, isn't it sometimes? Well, I think I think every every owner in the uh, state or probably in New England took took notice when Steve Rito started applying the ex, the extra wax back there. Dave Godwin eight thirty eight through four despite that strike five five box hurt him. Dave Hodge Malian fifty one after that ten box. Ed Woodside strong start after a tough start tonight ninety three and one hundred three starts over the strike now a spare. On lane four, Joe Smith, spare five and a 10 on lane three. Academy three up by nine. Woodside for double, he touches the six. A wiggle, a shimmy, he won't go. Hit it in the heel. 39 through two, what a start. For another one, bang, three in a row. 49 in the ball through three. Smith. Can't quite get to the 6-10. Lead building now for Academy 3. Smith gets a 9, 34 through 3 on Candlepin Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. 19 pin lead plus all three marks. Favoring Academy 3 in red. Woodside back on the nose, nine again. 40, make it 58, 58 through three. Going for four in a row in as many boxes here in the final string. Diamond for Smith. Another one, he got it. 68, the ball through four. Who is this guy? Smith off the wall, can't get to the five and nine. Well, my fantasy team is grateful. I have Ed, Ed, Haji. <laughs> And Jalbert. Is that, a con is that a conflict of interest, Bob? Yes, it is. <laughs> Smith a nine. 43 3 4. Here comes Academy three. Outside shot of total. Well, You're up 29 in the string, down 82 in the match. You got three marks to none. You never know in this wacky game at Candlepin Bowling. Peter Crawford Jr., 17. Tim Jalbert on the left, 18 through two. No marks for them. Scores are confirmed, so. Crawford on the nose, a banana split. Minus one, the six foot goes down. Jalbert, he's got a two-one split of his own. Three, six right, four to the left. He's got wood to the right, can he get it? Oh, thought he had it. Couldn't tap that wood in the middle. Jalbert, he wraps around the four. Two great efforts by two great bowlers. Peter gets a 10. 27 through three. Job at nine, also at 27 through three. Another pin off the deficit. They're up 30 in the string. Academy three in the right, up 30, down 81 in the match. Three hits to none. And they can get that into the 50s potentially, or low 60s and mid 60s. Anyway, plenty of time left. They did last week in string one. Remarkable, we thought it was Done. And they came back to win it in thrilling fashion. 1 7 10 for Crawford. 2 4 10 for Jalbert. This is for a spare. Beautiful ball. He got it. Second time we see Gold tonight, obviously with Wood. 37 the ball through four. They got four marks. Jalbert for a spare. 
He got, oh, he it. got it. Came back on the rebound. 37 of the ball through four. Back to the top of the order. Update from Bob Lee. Well, the 30 pin lead for Academy 3, four marks to one, all spares. I'll show you all the scores. So got Eddie Woodside leading the bunch with 68 and a ball. Followed by Austin Barnes at 54. Back to the action, Tom Paul Grant. JB, five in the spare, 45 through four, three tens in the 15 box. Jimbo, one still shaking his boots, eight in the 10 and back. 44 is first four to spare, six in the second. Pair of nines and a 10. Very capable of making the shot. And just stopped short of the eight. JB, two, four in the nine. It's great to see these younger bowlers, Jason Gothia Jr. and Austin Barnes, and so many others come up the ranks. 54 half of the 10 for Ayotte, and nice 10. Pretty shot for JB. The soon to be main, the soon to be Mainer, 55 half. Next week, Friday Night Pro League, time and match to be determined. JB for a strike, yes! 65 plus two through six, case in point. One, three, six, ten, 36 percent is the average going rate for Pro, pro Bowls, that would. Stats by Kenneth Moe Nepic, he goes inside, gets the three and the six. The hits keep coming for Academy Three. Three marks to one in their favor right now. I think it four, is it four now? Four to one now. Ayak gets the ten. I rather Jimbo Ayak. Yeah, it's the ten. Back to back tens, three in a row actually. Sixty-four through six. The lead is thirty-five in the string yeah. and seventy-six in the match. Not odds aren't in their favor for total, but you never know in this crazy game. Barnes, 7-10 goal post on a spare, 62 through four. Mike Nardone on a spare. He had this earlier, 7-5, 6-10 left to right. That's on a spare, 56 through four. See of Wood, doesn't go. Nardone, tough leave, great try. Push the five, holds up with a seven. Heck of a bid. Barnes, nine, 71 half. Nardone gets a nine. He's at 65 in the third and final string through five. Tentative match two weeks from tonight. Central three, oh, correction, is a central three on the road here against Academy, Academy two. 7.30 scheduled start time on Canal from Bowling Network on YouTube. Barnes, diamond plus a seven. We've seen this a couple times today. Nardone. Three. Mike from North Grafton, Massachusetts, originally Webster, Mass. Friends coming involved. Triangle plus the seven. Here's a high single at 166, high triple 448, high five 669, and a high 10 of 1341. Bowls the Atlantic Canopin Singles Tour, Class A, Southern Conference. He gets a seven, Barnes gets a nine. Austin, 80 through six. Mike Nardone, 70 through six. Uh, 72, please. Yeah, 72 for Mike, yep. Austin, 80 through six. Dave Govan having a good night, especially that first anyway. 143, settled down, 104 in the second. 38 through four here in the third. Lead's still in the 30s, but, all, but one of the spares is gone. Nice good six there. Nice pocket shot for Haji. 2 4 10. 51 through four coming in. Godwin leaves up the one and the three. Oh, what a shot for a spare. Dandy. 61 half plus one. Dave, 10. 48 half. 
halfway point of the final string of the match on Canlipin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Three marks, make it, is it four marks to one, Bob? Is that right? Four to one? Yes. For Academy three. Including a strike. Godwin, first strike, yes! Okay. His fifth strike of the match. Three in the first, two in the third. Haji trying to steal a strike, it's nine. Seven pin for another one, 70 half. Going for two in a row for the second time, the string. Uh oh. He got it! <laughs> 80 the ball through six. Academy three, not going down without a fight. Of 40 in the string, down 71 of the match. Four marks to two in their favor. Each side with a strike. Joe Smith, 43 through four. Ed Woodside, after a 93 and 103 first two, as Joe Smith drops down nine, he's at 68 in a ball through four. Nice shot again, eight, nine, nice. 10, strike, they all go! 88 half, plus two. 78 through four, 88 plus two through five. What a strange game. Smith the spare, 53 in a ball through five. It's the Ed Woodside show here in the third. Smith on the spare, spread eagle throwing the nine, three. 56, half. Woodside at it again, on the nose, up the wall, eight, nine. A wiggle, no, that close to a double. He's got two already in the string. Smith spins back. Nice try there. Two in the three. Spare again. Incredible. 98. 98 half. 108 in a ball through six. Sizzling. Nine for Smith. 65 through six on Canopin Bowling Network. What a performance by The Rock. The excitement, he put course. that one down. The Ken Offensive Cancer Buck, he's done better since. Yeah, well, well he, he threw a 93 and a 103, and he looked <laughs> determined. Remember, I, I, yep. I, I mentioned that deep yep. ball. The eye of the tiger. <laughs> Love it. Tim Jabba on a spare to stop the bleeding. Strike right on cue. A big 20, 47 through four. 57 plus two through five. Crawford's on a bonus, seven. Three, six right, seven left. 44 through four. Tough leave. Oh, he got it! Incredible shot! Massive performance by all these guys in the third. You're seeing some great bowling here in the Friday Night Pro League game of the week. 54 half, plus one. Look at those marks. Looks like Pac-Man. <laughs> Trying to gobble up the squares. Another ball for a strike nine. Close to a double. What a rip. Crawford's turn. Right side spins back for the four and seven. One, two, nine, ten. Sixty half. Jalbert spare. Jim and Jalbert three in a row. Sixty-seven half. Seventy-seven the ball through six. What is going on here at Academy Lanes? Crawford got it. Unbelievable. Another one. Insanity here at Academy Lanes Pub 125. 70 to ball through six. Masterful. Nothing like the great game of Canlip and Bowling. Get the word out, folks. Look at those scores. I'll put them up there in total. Back to the top of the order. Quick update from Bob Lee. JB's on a strike. Ed Woodside, of course, leading all bowlers at 108. He's 48 over his box. They're only down 50 in the match, just like that. JB for double. Crossing over. Crossovers leave Kings. 3, 5, 9, 10. Jimbo Ayot off to the right. Has five. Eight and back. Academy 3 has cut the lead more than in half. JB for a spare and strike. He's got it! 75 through 6. 85 and a ball through 7. They will not go away.
Jimbo gets the 10. 74 through seven, the third and final string of the match, a great one. This would be one heck of a comeback, Bob. Well, it's down to 40. Yeah, 71. From 71 the string. And we're just beyond the halfway point. And two marks in hand. JB, only four that time, back to earth. 89 through seven. Tough leave, the bundle of six for three in a row. Here's Jimbo Ayod. Came back for the 10, he's got the one, three, six in front. Back side is the seven and the eight. JB, good try, the five goes, oh, no. baby! No, that close. Denied three in a row, and Jimbo, a great bid. Six and the seven. Some just outstanding shots, Bob. Thrilling spares and strikes. JB, 10, 99 through eight. Jimbo still waiting for that wood to stop by ICBA rules. Gotta love Kenneth from bowling, Bob Lee. You just started it, what, about six years ago yourself, right? Five, six yeah. years ago yourself. In your 50s. Don't know what I was doing before that. Nice How 10 for that? you. <laughs> uh, nice that's a ten. wow 10. 84 through eight. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in six leagues now. Um, I don't think I'll be able to keep that. i would be moving out uh, toward Canal Lanes out, out in Chester, Massachusetts. Uh, joining their Wednesday night league, be bowling with uh, Tim Hayser. Oh, he's a great bowler. Next year. Mike Nardone, 3 9, half west to right, 8 left, wood to help, three pieces. Here's Austin Barnes. Nice ball, strike off the wall. 90 plus 2 through 7. We're not done yet. That's 14 strikes in the match, I believe, for Academy 2. Nardone can't get to the 8. A furious rally by Academy 3 here in the third. The marks are even right now. Nardone 10, 82 through 7. And three marks in a row, 7, 7, and 6, boxes 2 through 4. Look at those scores, Bob. Yeah, I'm expecting we're going to see... We're going to see Academy 3 well up in the 600s. You can see a 650 yeah. lose, possibly, the string. Half Wester, ouch. Gotta stop watching my videos. Barnes, half west of momentum killer. It's on a strike though. One in five chance to convert. Nardone, five and the seven. There's 10 balls. Barnes, second ball on the strike. Trying to work out of it. Got it. Right on the nose. Boy. Five on the field. 95 through seven. Wood to help for a 10, and Nardone gets nine. 91 through eight. Austin trying to grab three and gets two for a seven after a strike five, 102 through eight. So it looks like he'll go over his average for the 11th time in 13 matches. Dave Hodge Mallon, the captain on, on the right, 80 in a ball. Dave Goblin on the left, the captain for Academy two, 80. I'd rather 58, 58 plus two on a strike. Haji spins in the pocket. 10 goes, got a break, and there they goes the forward. Sometimes you better have standing, but it takes right. an eight. Yep. 88 through six. Gone, go over a second double in the sixth strike of the match. Wow. <laughs> that was good, didn't it? All right. Three pieces of wood to play with there. Haji for a spare. Oh, hit the yard. Oh, does go the ball right into the seven. Three in a row. 98. Already 98 in the ball through seven. Goblin trying to spin it over. He does. He gets a spare and strike. A big 20 here in Haverhill. 68 through six. 78 in the ball through seven. The hits keep on coming like American top 40. I'm Casey Kasem. Lead is still 70 for Academy 3. Well, you get no one, you don't know who Casey Kasem is. <laughs> it's been a long, long time, Paul. Haji crossing over with a check mark. 114. Is that right? No, 104. Make it 104 through 7. And Dave Goblin chops out the 4. And that's on a spare. 79 through 7. 
Hodge with another one. The five wiggles and stumbles, but it won't go. That close to four in a row. They could have used that one. Godwin trying to work out of it. One, three, nine. RG 10, 114 through eight. Godwin takes a nine after a spare one. 88 through eight, winding down the final string here on Canopin Bowling Network. Th two marks to one for Academy three. The lead is down to 35. They're up 76 in the string. That's the spirit. Woodside, the main reason why with Haji and others for that time. 112 through six. Tough leave would be high. The three and the six. 52 over his box. For another mark, missed right. 137, back to earth. Smith chops out the eight, 137. Woodside, a rare eight, you could say. 120 through seven, his only blemish, this string. Smith gains with a 10, 75 through seven, pushes the lead up to 37 in the match, I believe, right, Bob? 33, 33 make it. Oh, 70 in the string, in the match, 33 yeah. in the match. Still have a chance. Yeah, that's very close. One spirit piece, piece for the anchor bullets. Woodside goes right again. He's got decent wood behind, though, two pieces to work with. Smith on the crossover. Six goes down, he's got the three nine half Worcester plus the, plus the post. Three pieces off middle left. Academy three was so jazzed about that comeback that they had in string one in, in, in the match that they swept last week. Hey, Woodside back at it, spare! You see that same spirit coming at him right now? 130 in a ball through eight, Smith! <laughs> Too thin, seven, nine, 10. Ed Woodside, seven marks in eight boxes. Still has the it factor. Nine for Smith, 84 through eight. Two marks to one for Academy Three, down to 32 in the match, up 79 in the string. This would be amazing, Bob. Yeah, they've already crossed the 500 mark with uh, 12 boxes to go. And they would need that to, to split total. And two fills. Split the points, I should say. Yeah. Peter Crawford Jr., 70 in the ball. Greek Church, five in the fill, 75 through seven. Tim Jelmitz on a spare, 77 the ball. He has a 2-2 two -two split, 83 through six. He's 28 in the match for Academy, uh, 43, really? Let me check that in a minute. I thought it was 28, so we'll check that in a minute. So Dave gets the ball out of the channel. Yeah, that's it. So they haven't registered the five fill. 509 is checked. And 435. The six has not registered. Yep, the scores. So it's 43 now, not 28. Yeah. Okay. It just hasn't registered the fill balls. Okay. Just had on the All right. We'll get that to in just a moment for you at home. Thanks for watching this great game of Canopin Bowling on Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube. Crawford, now a banana split, minus one. I, know. I don't believe he <laughs> got secondary action on it, but just a little bit. At least he had something this time when Dave Godwin went down to clear the wood. Uh, got the ball this time. Last time, thanks for nothing. They're just teasing each other all the time. Pete's yeah. such a character. Three, six right, four, seven left. The job, but having a good old time here, the way it should be. You want to win, but you want to have a good time. And win with grace, lose with grace. Mm. Nice return of the ball there. Dave back at it again. <laughs> a, little, a little too strong on that one. Dave getting a workout here. Pete workout here. Picks it up, and he's going to throw it again. Dave's going to send somebody else down next time. In the middle. <laughs> Blame it on Dave. Blame it on Dave again. Nice wow. 10 for Crawford Jr. Cool. 85 through 7. Again. No go. Won't go. A 6. 89 through 7. Let's get a quick update. from. We'll get update to this box from Bob Lee before going to our final five boxes for each bowler. Eighth box, third string. A good... Viewers Come can back see it at here. home, though. It's, hang, it's hanging just under 40. One mark to none for Academy 3. A strike to cut at the 29. A spread eagle. Ouch. 
Oh, he broke up the eagle there, got a break, and Friendly Wood in front of the 247. I think something came off the curtain there. A curtain call, you could say, for Tim Jalbert. Good effort by Petey. For a spare. He's got it. Wow. 99 of the ball through eight. Crawford up the spread eagle. Nice 10. Pro bowling. 95 through eight. 10 bucks to go. Let's get an update from executive producer Bob Lee. Okay, the lead is 72. And Eddie Woodside continues to lead all of our bowlers. We drag our full scoreboard up with 130 and a ball through eight complete. Down to our final 10. Total is 16.77 a 16.38, a 39-pin lead for defending champions, Academy 2. Back to Paul. Thanks, Bob. No, no bullets. These two bullets, not on marks right now. Nice shot. Will it go? Yes, wow. spare. 94 and a ball through nine for Jimbo. Big shot. For the last season's pro Bowl of the year. Pro Series Bowl of the year. Nice shot. JB picks it up. Nice shot for a 10. Not an easy one. 109 through 9. But win or lose, Bob. Academy 3, you got to give it up for the effort they had. They could have packed it out, checked out mentally. They just fought, fought, fought to make it interesting. Jimbo, 6 on the fill. Make it 7. JB drops 9, leaves with the 6. 1 and 10 still jiggling around. 7 left. 101 through 9 for Ayotte. JB needs this. Jimbo, good bid. JB missed it. Furious. Missed a bunch in the first two. Watch out for this guy, though. All right. Jimbo gets a 10, 111 final string. JB 10, 119 final string. Let's get the totals from Bob Lee for the bowlers. The first bowl is for the three strings. If you could, Bob, please. Yeah, so JB with uh, scores of 116, 111. That was a 119 for a 346. Jimbo comes in at 352 with scores of 111, 130, and 111. Austin Barnes, only four. Mike, Mike Nardone, oh, strike! Sweetness. Don't cut him out yet. 101 plus two in the ninth. Barnes, nice shot. Two full, three right, four seven left. A, a double strike or two could give Academy three a chance at total, believe it or not. Down 111 after two. They made it a ball game. Down to 29, I think, at one time. Right, Bob? 29, yeah. I think. One point in the string in the match. Barnes an eight. 110 through 9. Forty pin, 44 pin lead in the match for Academy 2, the number 4 seed over the number 5 seed, Academy 3. Barnes got a break. 10 pin for a spare. Nardone on a strike, just yeah. 3, the 4, 7, 8. Threw that one onto George's bank. Five pieces of wood, two angled. Tricky leave. For a spare. He got it. Oh, my. 120 in the ball over his average again. Nardone, six on the strike. 107 through nine. Grabs three of the four for nine. He'll end up with a 116 final string. 111, 92, 116. That's 319 for three. Yep. Austin Barnes trying to get to 130 with a strike on spare. As a 117 to 120 already. Nine of the 10 uh, decided to immolate themselves before he threw. Thanks, Bob Lee, for doing the technology and the score cam all night, making it easier for me. Final 
final ball. It's seven. Nice finish. 127 for the 25 year older. 364, Bob? Yeah. Uh, is it 127. 118 average. Having yeah. a fine season. His best year. Puts their total lead back up to 46 now. Academy two. Six blocks to go. One spare for each side. To Barnes. Godwin, four, seven, eight, ten won't go. Dave Hodge Malahan. Two left, six, ten right. One heck of a comeback bid, Bob. Maybe just a little too short. Dave missed inside. Haji, one of the two, too far left. Dave gets an eight box, 96 to nine. Haji, a seven, 121 through nine. Thanks for watching this great game of Candlefin Bowling. Please share with your friends and family. Invite your friends to bowl. Candlefin Bowling is a sport for all ages. Get the youth involved. Don't forget the kids program here at 3.30 every Wednesday. Academy Lanes Pub 125. $10 a person, shoes included. An hour and a half to two hours of teaching and bowling and instructional bowling by the pros. Headed by Mike McIntosh 3.0, Josh Daly and others. Academy Lane, 725 South Main Street in the Bradford section of Haverhill, Mass. Great job, Mike, 3.0. Godwin winding up his final string. One, four, seven, ten. Haji needs a strike or spare, at least. Won't be easy. Three, six, four left. But Godwin, Godwin positions himself just about eight or nine feet out in front of the foul line. Takes a four-step approach, a very slow four-step approach. Reminds me of Corey Packard, actually. Yeah. It, 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 you know, not, not similar in some ways, but very similar in their footwork. Two great offers, not accepted. How about Corey Packard winning his second pro series last week in the random draw three team? Yeah. Joey Lister won his third, and Matt Susie won his first. Good for him. Both for tens, ha both the tens. Haji, 131. Dave Godwin, 106. That 143 first set the tone. Trey Haji ended up with a 362, and Godwin with a 353. Final four boxes. Looks like Academy 2 is going to hang on for total and get six points. Seven to fill for Woodside. 137 through eight. Smith can't quite get to the seven. Woodside. Another spare. Oh Ridiculous. Eight my out goodness. of nine. 147 and a ball through nine. Smith 10. One, I make that 94. 94 through nine. Final three boxes. Thank you, Bob Lee, for doing all the work tonight, setting this up. Smith, nice ball, eight, eight and a 10. And Wood could possibly help. Woodside, how dare he go left? One, seven, eight, 10. Five on that one. Six on the fill, 153 through nine. Had a 152 last week. Smith went a little too deep that time, trying to get to 104. For the anchors, wrap up the match. Woodside, oh, oh just no. missed the eight. That would have been nine out of 10. Joe Smith, 10, 104 final strings, a nine for Woodside. What a performance, 162. Yeah, and Rock, after after throwing a 93-103, ends up with a 358. Beautiful, beautiful finish. Final two boxes, Tim Chalbert on a spare. And Woodside's overall high single is 189, high triple 501, high five 735, four in the fill for Jalbert. 
They're going to take total and get six points. Valiant effort by Academy 3, though. 99 through 8. All but the three. Three and the nine for Peter Crawford, Jr. For a spare. No, not an easy one. Ten for Jamin Jalbert, 113 through nine. Tatum Jalbert here also watching his daughter. Good young bull on the rise. 71 average right now, Tatum, right? 71 average. Peter Crawford, 10, 105 through nine. Final box of the match. Try to talk to Academy 2 before we sign off. Maybe Dave Godwin. Jalbert, 1-7, right side, 6-10. Peter Crawford, Jr., trying to finish up strong. And you got to applaud the effort they made, Bob. He just needs eight, eight strikes here in the 10th to, <laughs> to catch him up. Guess that's not going to happen, though. Only in the twilight zone that could happen. One of the seven, winding up here the match. Bulls congratulate each other. Six points to two for the number four seed, Academy Two, for number five seed, Academy Three. That'll keep Academy Three at least in fifth place now. Central Two cannot catch him. Yeah. 10, 123 for Tim Jalbert, Peter Crawford Jr., 9, 114 final string. Let's get the scores from Bob Lee. All right, well, checking them against the official scores as we speak. Let's go to the main computer. As soon as Bob gives the update, we'll talk to Mr. 235, Dave Godwin, who set the tone tonight. Dave Godwin, in injuries have, bothered, have bugged you all year. Your average is 104, 105. We know it's not like you, but tonight you bowled like a champ. Tonight, 143, a double strike, three strikes, I think five or six overall. Massive performance tonight, setting the tone for your team. Uh, yeah, yeah, it felt good coming out of the first two boxes like that. Um, it has been a struggle. Injuries have been very, very tough to deal with. Um, How are you feeling, by the way, now? It's 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 slow. It's slow. It's a, it's a bad shoulder injury. Probably shouldn't be bowling, but just kind of fighting through it. And, um, yeah, I got spurts. Spurts are bowling, throwing good balls and not throwing good balls. So as, as you can see, some of them get away. Um, you know, it's in the someone in the words of a great bowler named Josh Daly. You got to make sure you stay square. And that's the biggest thing. Well, we're gonna see, I'm gonna book you now for two weeks from tonight. I'll be in Newport, Maine next week. I won't be in next week. So two weeks from tonight, Central match. Three Academy Two. I want to be here for that match. We're gonna be missing some bowlers that week, that night. I'm gonna have three subs that night. Are you? Yeah. yeah Jersey Mike subs? Huh? Jersey Mike subs? You gonna finish that? <laughs> <laughs> three subs, huh? We're gonna have three subs. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I'm gonna be missing a few other guys. We're missing too. Okay. So. So just an unfortunate night for uh, to be born against them. Well, a big six points to two. You're chasing Hingham for the number three spot right now. And you guys have been great since that first three or four weeks of the season. You guys are kicking butt right now. Yeah, yeah. We, we had a tough start early on. And uh, towards the end of the first round, we, we caught fire. And we've been bowling really well. The team's been bowling great. Austin Barnes, I always brag about Austin Barnes. 11 weeks out of 13 now. He's been over his average. Yeah, yeah Austin's been bowling great. He's, he's comfortable. He's having fun. Um, he's confident. And he's... He's been awesome with this team this year so far. Now, I'm still waiting to see a 236 from you, by the way, to beat your 235 high time. single. We've been waiting a long time for that. <laughs> hey, maybe I can throw four balls a box and maybe throw 15 boxes. Hey, thanks know. for that lemon drop in the spare, by the way. Yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> IOUs. Three-letter word for going 6-2 to two in a hard fought. How about before you, you say that, uh, how proud of me three didn't give up. They, they went down 111, got to the 29 at one point in the total. And yeah, you guys put it away. I'm actually glad that this uh, this night's over because they were coming in hot that last game. And, uh, you know, a few shots didn't go our way, and then they got some that went their way, and they just kept the momentum going. And thankfully, <laughs> like I said, the night's over. How about a three-letter word? We'll take the six points for a wow for the night. Okay, thanks, Dave. God bless. Mr. 235. All right, back to Bob Lee to wrap it up. Thanks for watching this great game of Candle from Bowling. Bob Lee. All right. We'll be putting this up yeah, around midnight tonight, and I hope you enjoyed our show. For the Candleman Bowling Network and Paul Grant, I'm Bob Lee. Good night.